You got to do the funny now, Joshua. The funny. The funny. Ah, uh, the infamous mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. You got to give me something to work with, and yeah. then I edit it, and then they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a tumbleweed. I didn't. Oh, okay. I had the laughing track that I added in in post. Oh, <laughs> slick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a terrible that clack. Work. That was really small. There you go. Good practice. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well, we can have the fact back then. Okay, you ready? I am. We're going to do like proper talking now. This yeah. is like the real, this is the serious, that was the funny bit. And then we do the serious bit. Okay. Wargaming, welcome back to this battle report. Welcome back to the channel. I know you've been away. Hope you had a nice time. We've been away probably. I imagine by the time this is out, we've been at the LGT because we haven't been there. Have you, were you at the LGT? I wasn't. Did you Not watch it on knowledge. Twitch or YouTube or Facebook? I hope I did. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Probably. Yeah. I mean, if great. You're doing it, I definitely did. Great. There we go. So we are back with another battle report. I have a special guest. Say hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. No, you can't do that. That's no. copyright. Try again. Say hi, Josh. Say hi, Josh. Does that work? No. Okay. They've got that too. Hi. Hello. Hello. There we go. So Josh is here, or Joshua. We haven't worked that out yet. He doesn't know what he wants to be called. You guys decide in the comments. Oh, I'd like to see that. So That'd be good. Can just, yeah, okay. I can already see how If I win, it's, it's going to go well. <laughs> at least. You better. So Josh has brought an Ulthway army which he's going to be using in our RTT or Road Trader Tournament if you guys don't know. It's our one day event that we run so we're going to be running multiple of these next year. Uh, it's already happened by the time this has come out but this is a 2000 point ITC list. We're going to be playing an ITC game today. Uh, so if you haven't watched uh, an ITC game before then make sure you check out the other ones that we've already done. Um, but otherwise we'll kind of like, we'll talk you through it. We'll be fine. We'll yeah. be fine. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be playing Drakari. I have some new units to play with. Some units that haven't been on the channel yet, ever. Oh, really? I think, yeah. Those, oh, no. those three in particular. Yes, those ones that you... I literally finished them yesterday. Yes. Well, finished them yesterday. Finished them. <laughs> finished them enough that you guys are going to enjoy how pretty they look. So, so we're going to be playing 2,000 points. It's ITC. Josh is a premium subscriber. He's challenged the sub. channel. Sub so premium. hashtag please sub. Make sure you subscribe to premium or Patreon. We're on Patreon now. What is a Patreon? Well, clearly not you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon is another website where you can subscribe and support the channel and you get the same great content. It's just an alternative. It's nothing. Um, you don't get, get any extra benefits from being a Patreon. Um, it's compared to being a premium subscriber. It's just an alternative for you to guys to jump on. So there we go. Without further ado, let's go and have a look at the lists. Cool, so today we're going to be looking at Josh's list first. This is 2,000 points of Ulthway. 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 Okay, so would you like to tell us what you've brought? I would. I can see you've brought lots of troops. Yes. And there's also a hemlock missing from the picture behind you. Where? There. Just there here. There's also a Josh mission missing because oh, he yeah. decides to wear a green t shirt in front of a green screen. So there you go. I've done an Elliot and tried to disappear. There's a drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a good so, one. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, so tell us about your list, Josh. What you right, brought? so I've got three detachments. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a battalion and two spearheads. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'll start with the battalion, just because it's the biggest. Um, so I have uh, good old Granddaddy Eldred. Uh, mm -hmm. Not the warlock, though. Uh, warlock Skyrunner. Mm -hmm. I've got three units of Dire Avengers because I have to take troops for some reason. Like need those CP. I need more tanks. Why can't I have more tanks? Mm -hmm. uh, three wave serpents, so I can literally just have no infantry on the board. Yeah, nice. Which is great. What, oh, wave triple, out? Yeah, triple shuriken cannon, that's it. Just cool. there to be cheap and annoying, basically. Sure. Uh, which I found the best, is the best way to use them, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I usually just charge them forward and lock 
stuff up. Yeah, um, that's fine. I mean, it might be a bit difficult with Marky stuff because he's got quite a lot of fly. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's amazing against uh, guard armies, especially when they've got artillery. You know, yeah, exactly. You just run into them and they can't do anything about it. Isn't that right, Marley? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So then, uh, so that's the first first attachment. Then mm-hmm. I've got a uh, spearheads mm-hmm. headed up by an Altark. Mm-hmm. Bare bones, but he's got the. I almost want to say angel's wings, though. That's blood angels. What's it called? Falchion's wing, Falchion's which is wing. basically gives him a jump pack. Yeah. Gets fly. So this is the, the not your eel, is it? This no, this is uh, uh, this okay, is the, the one with the wings on him. Yeah, because there's. I basically, uh, I got the the actual wings mm-hmm. out arc, and then gave him. Uh, I just convert him up a bit because cool. he looked nicer as a, an out but with the, the wings. Yeah, so he's a true. basic out but he's got wings. Because of the relic. Yeah. Cool. Can't do, don't think you can deep strike with him. No. But he just gets a bit more movement, which cool. helps. Makes, with, the, makes the wings free, essentially. Yeah, basically makes yeah. the wings free. Um, yeah, so he's got his Star Glaive. Mm-hmm. He, oh, yeah, and he can take the Star Glaive because it's a basic out which is cool. nice. Uh, and then he's running along with three Night Spinners, nice. uh, which I really enjoy uh taking them to both tournament uh hellstorm tournaments i've been to uh two and three took them to two uh and took two uh mm-hmm. one yeah, got three. like half half health a night in one one shot nice. shape, essentially which uh made me decide i wanted another one Very so nice. got three of those yeah uh then i've got another battalion uh, battalion another spearhead spearhead that's the one um, this is headed up by my warlord, who mm-hmm. is the not Prince Uriel. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got Falcon Swiftness, just again for the maneuverability, mo- and then I paid a CP for an extra relic. He's got the Shimmer Plume of some Eldar word, um, which makes you Shimmer Plume of Achiriel, 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 Rakalil, Chrysler. <laughs> Um, and then uh, along with him is even more tank um, and it's two fire prisms and a warp hunter all bare bones because you know why, why take a prince when you can have more tanks because mm-hmm. you need more tanks mm-hmm. um, and then a hemlock to round things out uh, in terms of psychic powers because uh, got a lot of psychic powers is just what makes craft worlds sing yeah um, Obviously, protect Jinx on the Hemlock and the Skyrunner um, Warlock. Warlock. That's mm-hmm. the one. And then Eldrad is running along with uh, Doom, Executioner, and Guide. Makes sense. Very yeah. solid. So you got a solid list. Loads and loads of tanks. Uh, so it should be really tough to shift. Uh, obviously, the Wave Serpent is tough to shift, but it's all Wave Serpent chassis. Obviously, the ones that aren't Wave Serpents don't have the Serpent Shields. So they're not quite as durable. Shame. But they are still quite durable at what, 12 wounds at toughest 7? Uh, or is it 13 12, wounds? Uh, it's 13 on the Wave Serpent, 12 on, 12 on everyone else. Off the top of okay. head, yeah. But yeah. Uh, all the way 6 up save on everything. Yeah, so you know, you're ignoring well. a 6th of the wounds, which is just great. So they've really got like 18 wounds. Yeah. So they're close to. No. 15, no way. 15, 14 and 15 wounds. Yeah, we can match. On average. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, it's 14, 14 and a 6th. Yeah. They've got more wounds than they should have because of the average of amount of dice you're going to save with them. So they're really good unless you roll ridiculous and obviously you have unlimited wounds. You roll only sixes, but then I'd be checking your dice. Well, but they are my dice, yeah, so they're probably all right. So. <laughs> but there you go. So that is the uh, old way. So let's go and take a look at the Drakari. Uh, the very original list of <laughs> Drakari. Okay, so the Drakari. The dark time. The dark, like Eldar, Night but darker and more cool. Not cool too. No. Don't like. Don't like. You've got like. If you think of like a child, they go to school. They're really nice and friendly. Yeah. Then they get to like fifteen, and that's where they really make the, the personality really comes out. Mm. They all like My Chemical Romance and Fallout Boy, and um, Panic at Disco. Bitch. This is the Eldar. So you got Eldar. Oh yeah. look, I'm going to school. I've got my lunchbox. And then they go to comp. They go to high school. Yeah. They like grow their hair out. They dye it black. They start hanging out with like other people who are also like those with like black clothes, and they roll yeah. into my chemical romance in Lincoln Park, like I did. So this is this is teenage Dark Eldar. Did teenage have, Eldar is Dark Eldar. Do you have anyone playing bass? No, uh, that, that would, would be quite epic yeah. though. So I actually do play bass. My bass is there in the corner. It's basically, just there. 
is worse than me. Oh my god, I didn't think it was going to happen. Anyway, so I have 2,000 points. What, how many points exactly is your list? Uh, 1999. Mine's 1997. I'm going to so win. Probably already. won. Yeah. So I have two detachments. Uh, I did want to make three, but I didn't have the models to do it because I was short of an Archon. So I have double battalion. Yeah, CP. I have he can 12. afford effect. I have 11 CP, but I'm going to gain D3 at the start of the game, so I'll have 12 or more. 12 plus. 12 plus CP. So I'll start with my Warlords detachment. Mm -hmm. uh, and you may notice in this Warlords detachment there are some new units being very original, triple Ravagers with triple disintegrate cannons. But there you go. So I'll, I have got a Cabal of the Black Heart detachment. Have you heard what this does? It's called the Vec detachment, right? The Vec detachment, yes. With this very original, two Archons. Oh. And one of the Archons is a Warlord. I should say it's Cabal of the Black Heart. So everyone who has Power of Pain is a plus one on the table, essentially. They're one further. Oh, yes. So from turn one, they actually count as turn two. Correct. So, for example, they are all eager to flay. The two Archons and 15 Cabalites are eager to flay. But everyone else in the det detachment who doesn't have Power of Pain, which is all of the vehicles, uh, gain the inert from suffering ability. So you have a six up ignore damage. Hey, I wonder who else has that. It's cool, right? It's like all the way, but better. Oh. So I have an Archon who is a Warlord, uh, he has a Splinter, Pist Splinter Pistol and a Venom Blade. Uh, the other Archon in the detachment has the same loadout, Splinter Pistol and Venom Blade, but my Warlord has Labyrinthine Cunning and he has Writ of the Living Muse, meaning uh, I gain CP back on a 6-up after I've used them, once per battle round obviously, and then also, as well as providing reroll ones to hit within 6, now he provides reroll ones to wound. Ooh, that's good. It's pretty good. So oh, essentially, yeah. compar comparatively to Space Marines, it's a Space Marine Captain and a Lieutenant in one, mm. which is pretty good. Obviously he's an Archon, so he's got two plus in vulnerability until he fails it, which is really good. So then, I said two Archons kitted out the same, and then I have 15 Cabalites, three units of five, all just with Splinter Rifles. Yeah. And then I have three Venoms with Splinter Cannons and twin Splinter Rifles. So Do you have Splinter Racks on them? No, 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 nothing, none of that. So they're just basic. Then I have three Heavy Supports. And I have... Three Ravagers. Again, very original. I've just kind of... These aren't finished, but they're, they're painted enough so they can use them. Very original. Never be seen before. They have three disintegrated cannons. So they all have nine strength five minus three, two damage shots. Each. Each. At 36 inch range. And mm. assault weapons when they're on a vehicle. Really wants to win as well. Really, really wants to win mm. and can move and shoot. Oh, yeah. I also have a Razor Wing Jet Fighter. This guy's going to be using disintegrated cannons and twin splinter rifle and his missiles. So... So yeah, so I have 9, 18, 27, plus 6, that's 33, strength 5, minus 3, 2 damage shots. So there you go, that's the battalion, as you see on here it's split into two detachments because I don't have an alcohol in there anymore. Yeah. So that's a single battalion. So I have another battalion, which is Prophets of Flesh. Again, a very original list concept that no one has ever done before. So I have a, a Homunculus and a Urian Rakaf leading this detachment. Uh, I'm using 2CP before the game starts. I'm using Cult of the Archon, which essentially lets me choose a, um, a Homunculus to be a Warlord, which is going to be Urian, to get me D3 command points uh, for Diabolical Suit, say. So he gains a, a Warlord trait, but he doesn't count as a Warlord. Um, and then I'm using uh, the Vexator Mask, who's going to go on the Homunculus. Again, never been seen before. What it does, he, lets you, he forces a unit to fight last, uh, but also he ignores Overwatch, so he can charge in, and then the, the other stuff can go in. Mm. the stuff to be named I then have 15 racks 3 units of 5 these are really good at just sitting on objective at the back um, obviously being profits of flesh they have a full plus in front of all which is really good um, as does everything in this detachment yeah I then have a unit of 5 grotesque with monstrous cleaver and flesh gauntlets um, which are nice mm. they're, they're pretty, pretty fun and then I have 3 units of 2 talos <sighs> with macro scalpels chain flails and twin haywire blasters. Mm. First time I ever fought you was uh, Talos, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Talos and Eldar at the time. Yeah, which when you brilliant. could take Dark Reapers and Doom worked for everyone. And Doom worked for Haywire, which is just a. <laughs> so, so yeah, that is the list. It's 1997. It's a fairly strong pure Drakari army. Uh, there are things you can change to make it better. I think taking pure Grotesque at this point is much better than taking um, uh, Talos now. Because, right, yeah. Because you just get more of them. But it should be quite good. It's got a really good fire base, and it's got Talos, which are a threat, which you'll have to deal with, or they will chew you. Yep. But also, no, no. Whilst, that hap whilst that's happening, is you've got all the uh, disintegrated cannons shooting at you. So, mm. a, bit of a, a bit of a fluctuation, and um, 
a fluctuation. Multiple threats, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's a good list, I like it. So it's, uh... it's fairly strong. Mm. So, but you also have a fairly strong list. I do. So if you kill we'll all my anti tank, then I can't do anything about it. Yeah. I've got lots of poison, which can't do anything. <laughs> so there you go. So just hide the hide the stuff. Yeah, exactly. So there you go, so there are the lists. Uh shall we go and play some ITC? Let's do it. The mission is coming up next, but it's ITC, so it's all the same, so who cares? are deployed in this ITC mission. It is Nexus Control. There are four objectives. One, two, three, four. The bonus point for this mission is to hold all four objectives at the end of your turn. You get a point. However, we are on a distant planet. Maybe a craft world. Maybe a craft world. Maybe. Maybe some other sort of planet. Maybe a dark city. Mm. Maybe the outskirts of a dark city. Maybe it's a lost world. Which is funnily enough, the name of this battle map by GameMap.eu is a super cool Eldar A themed map. So it has some Eldar runes on. It's got this like summoning portal which you put Webway Gate on. Got another little one here which you put a big rock on because why not? It's a super cool map. So make sure you check out GameMap.eu. Thank you very much for giving us this map. Also this terrain, which is the Highlands terrain, I believe it's called, which has these awesome rocks and stuff. All the rest is fish tank and stuff like that. Fish tank type terrain, which looks awesome. That's yeah. great. So the deployment was Hammer and Anvil. You might have seen something weird going on at the beginning. Because Josh chose sides and then started deploying whilst I was deploying. You want so, to explain your tactics behind that one? Well, it was just... Uh, weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so uh, Josh got a bit excited and started deploying, even though it was my, I, I deployed my entire army and then Josh deployed his. Yeah, just got a bit excited. Just or was it excited. Eldar Trickery? Eldar Trickery, it was Phantasm. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we are deployed, it is Hammer and Anvil, uh, so the Dark Eldar are here to destroy the craft world because there's something interesting here, this whole webway gate. Go somewhere special that the Drakari want, and have, the Drakari have, so you've basically lost already. What? They control the, look, the Drakari oh. have the webway. Do you know the access code? Ah, uh, okay, so Eldrad has it, who is in here. Um, with a unit of Dire Avengers and, and then we have the Warp Hunter and then we have unit of Dire Avengers, unit of Dire Avengers. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the fire, uh, fire Prisms and then we have the Night Spinners over here with the Warlord. The Warlord, yes. The Warlord over there and then a Hemlock in the corner. Uh, so I have gone for a quite defensive deployment except for the Prophets because they are aggressive. So all the Talos are lined up on the deployment line. The racks are protecting the characters, but then these ones are within six of the um, Homunculus or Urian to get plus one toughness. I have a Venom over there, which got a unit of Cabalites. I've got a Venom here with an Archon and a unit of Cabalites. And then I have Venom here with the Warlord Archon, who's got Labyrinthine cunning, cunning and Ridden Living Muse there, with the three Ravagers hiding as much as possible. I didn't really have much line of sight blocking. And then we've got the Razor Wing in the corner. So, I deployed first. You did. So I have first turn. 
Sure? However, I've also put my grotesques in Deep Strike. So that's cost me a CP. By a Diabolical Soothsayer, so I gain D3 command points before the game begins. I'm going to roll with this brand new... Oh, oh look at that, guys. Sexy. Oh, you can see the logo through the dice. That is sexy. However, I'm going to gain D3 command points. So oh. I gained three. So I was on 11, I'm back up to 14. Cheeky that. <laughs> I think that's right. We'll double check. I might be. I might be on thirteen. I think I'm on thirteen. Yeah, I'm on thirteen CP. Apologies, not fourteen. So that is that is me done. So I'm going to go first, if that's okay. Can I go first? Um. Yes, facts. You can go first. And you're going to let me go first. Mm, I want to see what I would have got. Yeah, but you're going to. Uh, you, this is a theoretical C's initiative. It is. Here we go. C. No. So I. I've, for seeing the future, there because we go. I have Eldorado. Exactly. Days. So, because it's ITC, if you set up first, you have to go first. You don't get the choice like you do in the rule book. But there you go. So, would you like to use prepared positions? Uh, I will not use prepared positions because my position is already prepared. Very good. Okay. So, uh, for, for, as I said, this is ITC. So, what we do is we, we gain a point every battle player turn if we kill a unit. We also get a point if we hold an objective. So, that's two points each, each turn. Yeah. Also, at the end of each battle round, we calculate how many units we both killed. Whoever killed more gets an extra point. And then if you hold more objectives than your opponent at the end of the battle round, you get another point. And that's four points available. Then you have the bonus mission, which is in this one, hold all four objectives. That's five points, and that's each battle round. And then we have three secondaries. We have three secondaries each. I chose Big Game Hunter, which is kill a unit with more than seven wounds, which is all of his tanks. Uh, I also chose Marked for Death. So Marked for Death is choose four units with power level seven or more and kill that unit. So I chose the Warp Hunter, the two Fire Prisms and the Hemlock with my Marked for Death. Um, and then I chose Old School, which is kind of like what's in the rule book. Uh, it's First Strike, it's Warlord, it's Line Breaker and Last Strike, which is clean in the last turn. So it, ITC is always six turns, so there's um, 30 points available from killing more and holding more on the bonus point. And then there's 12 for the secondaries, because you can score those four times each. So Josh, what secondaries did you go for? Uh, so I've gone for Recon, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, have, have a unit in each quadrant of the board. Yes. Split it into equal quarters, have a unit in each one. Yep. Uh, I've gone for Mark for Death. Uh, I've marked for Death his uh, Three Ravagers and his yep. Flyer. And the Razor Wing, yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah that's right. Uh, and and then gangbusters, gangbusters, yes. Which is cheesy unit that well units that have a model models with six or more wounds. Uh, you do four. Sorry, it's four or more wounds, and then you do six every six wounds you get a point. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So all the talus and the grotesque are all worth killing. Those are worth points. So I'll be able to match those after he kills them all. So that's that's ITC. So I'm going to go first. You're not going to prepare prepared positions. I'm not there. So it's Drakari turn one coming up. guys that is the end of the Drakari movement phase just been trying out these new red gem dice mm. do you want to tell the guys how many times I rolled the five and a six for advance out of how many I I rolled, all but two were a five or a six yeah and I rolled about yeah. nine advances so uh, the Talos have all advanced all rolling a five and six was just ridiculous uh, Urien and the homunculus have moved forwards to give the plus toughness uh, also these guys look like a bit far out but they are within six of that homunculus because of the way it's it's just the angle. So there we finished off the seven currently. This venom has just moved up to just put pressure on this objective. So Josh has to come deal with it. The racks have all advanced. So these guys are helping hold that objective along with all of this that's here. They are kind of jumped out of the venom. 
uh, to providing reroll hit rolls and wound rolls of one uh, to all the ravagers and the flyer who's just within six. And then these tiles have just moved over, and that venom has moved over. What I'm thinking with that guy is kind of jumping over the wall, charging the night spinners, and then forcing them to move. So at least they're going to be minus one to hit. Um, but the hemlock's too far away, and these guys. This is going to be really tough to kill because I've only got ravagers to shoot it. Um, and obviously my my two damage will become one damage, so I can just see that night spin on the end with all three ravages and the flyer. So I'm going to focus on that guy first. Um, and yeah, that's about it to be honest. Shall we enter the shooting phase? We shall. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so we've just done the tiles off camera. They did cause a single wound into this wave serpent. Now I'm going to start with going with this ravager. This ravager is going to put all three disintegrate cannons into this night spinner. Josh, do you have a response? I do. Mm. You've activated my trap though. Um, so I'm going to spend two CP for lightning fast reactions. You're going to try. I'm not, well. Uh, oh no. So I'm going to try and vet that because I don't want to be minus one to hit. So, I, no. so I, I spend four CP. So I'm on, I'll be down to nine. Yeah. Does it, do I stop your vet? Uh, do I stop your strategy? On a one, I don't. On a two to five, I do. On a six, I do. And I make you spend the CP as well. So how many CP do you have currently before you spend it? I have a total of nine currently. Nine, okay. So does it does our vet does vets go off? Oh, no. I do roll the six. So you spend two CP and it doesn't go off. However, I spend four CP to do it. And also you use two CP. Yeah. So do I get any CP back? I don't. So I'm down I'm down to nine CP. So Autox have same rule, so Same I spent two CP, so I don't have any back. No, you do not. So I'm cool. to seven. There we go. So, first Ravager into the not lightning fast reacted Night Spinner. So it's three to hit, re-rolling one because within range of the Archon. So, two missed. And then it's strength five, so it's five to wound, re-rolling ones. Uh, one, one wound. So one at minus three, and it is two damage. Six up save then. Mm -hmm. Failed. And two damage. Yep, so, so two six two ups. Six ups. So that's all the way. And Ignore damage, take wow. two wounds. That's three ones. No, it's three ones in a row. So how many wounds does he have left? Uh, so they have 12, right? They have 12, I believe, yes. So, so 10. 10 left. Cool. Funnily enough, Josh, yes. the next Ravager is going to do the same thing. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Three to hit rerolling ones. It's currently one missed. Two missed, because they're both twos. These the dice are really pretty. <laughs> and then uh, five to wound and rolling ones. One a bit better there. Uh, no, I didn't. Two wounds at minus three. So again, sixes. Yeah. Hey! One passed. Um, two damage. Sixes. Two more. Oh. Down to eight. Down to eight. And then the third Ravager. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Here we go. Deja vu. Deja vu. Three to rolling ones. Just 27. Okay, there's a two down Thank you. I'm getting too excited about the prospect <laughs> of rolling dice. The new dice, yeah. So, That's two wounds. Go. I've not rolled very well on wounds, but there you go. Probably more average. Two so fails. Two failed, so four damage. Oh, come on. Where are these? So, six? four wounds. So, down to four wounds remaining. So, I think this unit of Talos, which are going to be out of range of this wave serpent, I'm going to shoot into him as well. Alrighty. So it's four D3 shots with the Haywire Blasters, because you have two Haywire Blasters each and the D3 shots each. Nice. So that becomes, yeah. that becomes three. That becomes two. So they advance, so it's five to hit. So you get two hits, and it's strength four, so it's five to wound, but any fours are a mortal wound. Oh. And six is a D3 mortal wound. So two wounds at minus one. So the arm saves. Both, Both passed. passed. So you take one plus D3 mortal wounds. So you take four mortal wounds. Give me a six. Oh, I need another one there, sorry. You did not roll a six. That is him destroyed. Does it explode? No, it does not explode. No. There we go. So, uh, I can't stack Mark for Death and First Strike. So I think I'm going to take Mark for Death. Cool. Because I did choose that for Mark for Death, didn't I? Um, no, it was the... Who was it? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, it was no, the you're Fire right. Prisons and the you correct. Concern. So I'll take that for First Strike. Because I've got plenty more to get Big Game Hunter off. <laughs> so that, so I'll take score one point for first strike, and I've also killed the unit, which is super good. Um, so then I'm going to have to think about what's going to come up next, because I've got the fly on this unit, Talos to shoot. OK, 
Okay guys, so we just did this unit of Talos off camera. Reason being, I didn't think much had happened because they've advanced, they're hitting on fives. I did one wound to this wave serpent and I did seven to that night spinner. This is why I hate Talos. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I rolled, I rolled what, seven shots and I hit with six of them and then wounded yeah. with all of them and got like loads of sixes and stuff. Yeah, so. you got like two sixes and yeah, it was And then I rolled two D3 mortal wounds on top, which is just ridiculous. Um, so now I've got the razor wing left. And I've got some venoms to shoot, so we'll do the razor ring. This razor ring is actually going to finish, try and finish that guy off, which makes sense. So I'm going to the can the rifles can't reach. So I've got two disintegrated cannons, and then I've got the missiles, which I want to use. Shatterfield, Shatterfield missiles, which is strength seven minus one. What rerolls wounds? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'll do the disintegrated cannons first. So threes to hit, rerolling ones because of the archon. Five hits and it's five two rolling ones again because of the archon. Good thing. So nothing. Oh, bad thing for me. And then the Shatterfield missiles are so D6 shots. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm just being a bit rude with these dice, aren't I? Did you know they're new and available on Hellstone Wargaming.co.uk, maybe? I might have to get some if you beat me. <laughs> Three to hit me rolling ones, mate. So one missed. And then uh, falls but re rolling. Cool because of its inbuilt weapon rules. Yep. So that is three saves at minus one meter. So that's one. And a six up all the way save. That passed as well. Can't see yep, it. Yeah, cool. So one more wound. So he's down to four. Yep. Okay. So you'll be happy to know I only have a few poison shots to do. So I'm yes. just I'm just gonna do those off camera and see if anything can reach. Everything's gonna be a six. <laughs> Shot some poison, some random bits and bobs into that wave serpent and didn't cause a wound. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Not not a terrible shooting phase. I mean, killing two night spinners would have been quite cheeky. It would. But killing one is pretty good yeah. and damaging the other. That's why we have redundancy. Yeah, exactly. So that's the end of the shooting phase. Let's go straight into the charge phase. I am going to charge my venom into your warlord. And that's it. Okay. I don't know what the charge range is. Let's find out. I can straight. I am fly those. I can go straight over there. Did it? Did it? Oh no, I can't do it quick enough to the how quickly I was doing. I'm gonna roll. Let's see what it is. You, I roll a ten. Uh, am I within ten? No, I think you need an eleven, mate. Okay. Yeah. So well, no, I'm not gonna roll the spending CP. The reason being, I was gonna try and charge the warlord and then hit him, but also pile into the night spinners so they'd have to move and then they'd be minus one. Mm, so that was the game plan. However, that didn't happen, so it does I'm not too phased by that, I'm not too worried. Because I'm really I've been really aggressive, I'm all over the board now. And you've got to deal with it. Yeah. Are you ready to deal with it? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So let's go into Craft Worlds Ulthway, turn one. movement phase is complete for the craft world an aggressive approach from Josh coming right in the face of Talos you know that's normally not a good thing it is if you kill them I mean normally what they do is they put you inside them in their torture cells and take you back and then turn you into racks and grotesques and maybe more Talos oh no do you know that's what happens I'm so scared <laughs> so the Die Avengers have advanced out making it creating a wall in front of the Talos um, we've got the warp punter has moved over, all the characters are out to play, all the wave steppers have shuffled around to grab this objective, the night spinners have stayed still and the warlord has disappeared into the night spinner, <laughs> so I can't charge into him with the a tag, night. into the night spinner. The hemlock has moved over, being quite aggressive interestingly enough, going very close to those talos so who can fly. Was that on purpose? 
I'll kill him, it'll be fine. It'll kill him, it'll be fine. There we go. That's how we solve uh, solve mistakes with this army, just shoot it. Exactly. And then we've got the fire prisms. Not really moving, but they can see quite a lot because of the way they are positioned. So that's the only movement phase. Did I miss anything? No, I think that's pretty no. much it. Just all the characters in the middle, uh, ready to give off buffs and auras and such. Exactly. So with that, let's go into the psyche phase. Okay, to start off the psyche phase, we're going to be playing Seer Council for one CP. So don't no, really know what it does. It, what it does, it gives us Farseer and a Warlock plus one to cast. Yeah. So, um, do you get your CP back? You nope. do not. Do I gain your CP? I do not. Cool. Okay. Thanks for not vetting that one. That was very kind of you. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So, what would you like to cast first? So, I'm going to start with uh, Jinx from mm -hmm. the Warlock. Yeah. I need a seven to cast, and I have plus one now because of my strategy. Yeah. So does not five six. Does that go off. Um, I'm going to CP reroll this. I don't think you are. I think I'm going to vex it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that Jinx hasn't gone off, so I will try and vex that one as well. Which I do vet, so it goes off on a three, so you don't lose your CP. Uh, do I gain any back? Otherwise, I'm down to five. No. I'm down to five. So there you go, and you can't use a reroll this turn either. So, oh, so you, it's count, count as used, essentially. Yes. Cool. Like so, a failed psychic power. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, cool. So no jinx. As you were. <laughs> What's next? All right. uh, next, I'm going to cast Smite from Eldred. Okay. Uh, so it's a five to cast. Yeah, five. So yeah. it's now a four because of plus one. Absolutely which goes off. Success. So D3 mortal wounds onto Talos. Oi, here are wounds. my sixes. Do I, get, do I ignore any? I do ignore one, so I take two wounds. So I'm down to five on this guy. Okay. Cool. So Eldrad gets plus one to cast a power if he's successfully cast the previous one. Yep, so your next one is plus two to cast because of City Council. That's great. I love Eldrad. Yeah. What would you like to cast? I'm going to cast Doom now. Doom. Witness your Doom! Yes. Four and a five. There we go. It does go off. So who would you like to Doom? I'm going to Doom this unit of Talos. Interestingly enough, that unit is going to be Doomed. Okay, what's next? Uh, next, so I'll cast two, so I have one left, and I'm going to cast Executioner. Mm -hmm. So I need a seven for this one, but I still have plus two. It goes off on it a 13. Smite. Yeah. So that's going to be on the Talos once again, so, I think. Or do you choose a unit? Uh, it is the closest unit, okay. it doesn't have to be visible. Okay. Uh, but it's Watch seven, and then if a model is removed, mm -hmm. the unit takes another D3, but I don't yeah. think you're going to. Anyway, so, so on the Talos, takes another three more wounds, so do I ignore any? I do not, so I take three wounds. Nice. So I'm down to two on the front guy. If I can find a two. I cannot find two. Cool. Cool. Uh, final thing, the... Smite from the hemlock. the hemlock. Cool. So I need a six now because of the plus one. Does go off? No, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Who, who was that on? Do you uh, know? I believe it will be this unit. Yeah. I we'll double check. check. Do you want to roll the mortal wounds? Yeah. One. One, and I'll see if I ignore it, then it doesn't matter. I do, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it always works like that. There we go. So, is that in the psychic phase? That is all my powers, yes. Okay, so let's go into the shooting phase. Out of the phase, we used a stratagem. What was the stratagem called? I had it just a second ago. <laughs> uh, so, runes of the witnessing. Uh, so, effectively, for 2 CP, you turn any Farseer into a lieutenant. Yeah. So, reroll once to win within 6 inches. Exactly. So, the old types provide reroll hit rolls of 1, and Eldrad is now providing hit roll, reroll wound rolls of 1. That wasn't English. Reroll wound rolls of 1. Yes. There we go. So, Eldrad's done that. They shot a couple of pistols and stuff into the Talos, and not, nothing's happened. So, now I'm going to go into the Hemlock. Who is he going to shoot? He's going to shoot Talos. This damaged unit of Talos. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, roll to hit. Well, how yep. many shots do you get? So, uh, D3 shots from each gun. So, yep. D3. So, three shots. Three shots. Wounding uh, on not. threes, re rolling. Yes. Re rolling. Re rolling ones. Then. Yep. There you go. So, two wounds. So, two four plus in ones. Which I passed both. Nice. Cool. What's next? Next, we are going to fire. Uh, we're going to fire the. Uh, we're going to start with this. This wave step at the back. That's the word. Uh, yep. He's going to shoot into the doomed unit. Of, okay. So uh, nine shuriken shots. So three, six. Using the, the classic pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. Which will be coming back to the store very soon. So three's to hit. Three's to hit. No re rolls because they're not within range. Nope. Which is unfortunate. 
and but then five to win re-rolling one. Yeah. Oh, re-rolling because of doom. So that's two wins so far. Very so nice, so two of each. Yeah. So we have two normal, which are the fives to wound, so two three-up saves. Followed by a six up, which I take one wound, and then the ones that are minus three, so on my own one, so four plus. Followed by six ups. So I take two wounds in total, so I'm down to five. Oops. Okay, what's next? Next that's one wave serpent. Fire uh this wounded Night Spinner. Night spinner. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fire into the this into talos. talos, yes. Okay. So only the big guns in range. Yeah. Uh, it's two D six shots. Four, four. Four shots. Yes, four, I presume. Uh, four now, yes, because uh, I'm just outside my bottom mm -hmm. bracket. So I hit on fours, and I'm gonna reroll ones because of the out heart next to him. So it's two hits. Yeah. Strength seven, so fours. One, one wound, no AP. No AP. So one three plus save, which I pass. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fire the full health night spinner. Same unit. Same unit. Cool. So two d six shots. Three shots. Eight. That's unlucky. Uh, CP? I'm not going to CP that now. Okay. No more bit. <laughs> uh, so three shots. Oh, and twos as well, just to add insult to injury. Fours to wound, nothing. Doesn't wound, okay. You know how I was saying my spinners were so great at it. Yeah. <laughs> just unlucky. <laughs> okay, so we've done that side of the board now. So we've just got two wave serpents, two fire prisms, and a warp hunter to go. I mean, they say just. Got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll run some. Dire Avengers if I need. Some Dire Avengers as well. Uh, cool. So we're going to fire this wounded boy, boy serpent into the doomed Talos. Okay, so have we got nine dice there ready to go? I've got three. Yes, I don't know if I counted because. So I three's to hit, re rolling ones. So one missed, two missed. So four there. Yeah. And then it is five to wound re rolling because of doom. So one uh, so far. That's. Two wounds, wounds, one of each. So one three up because you rolled a five, which I pass, and then one four up because you rolled a six, which I pass. Okay, let's think about what's going to come next. Okay, so the warp hunter's going to go next. What would you like to shoot? I'm Is it going to be those Talos by any chance? What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They cool. need to die. Yeah. Do you um, have an underslung weapon? He does, yes, he has a. Uh, actually, the catapult is going to go into this unit. Or into the racks. Into the racks, yes. Okay, do you want to do the catapult first? I will do, yes. So four shots. Four shots. Hit on three, 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 so three nice. rolling ones. And then winning on. Fives. Fives. Where are they? Ones. Five now. They are because they're within six of the homunculus. So nothing. Okay. Now the big gun. Big gun. So it has two profiles one that ignores line of sight, it's only D3 shots, mm -hmm. or. Because I'm within lovely, do you see flame range? It has a D6 flame shot, so nice. I'm going to be using that. Okay, so D6 hits. Two. two. Uh, all right then. I'll okay. Just roll that. Strength twelve. Unless I want you to play some CP. You know, I'm going to. Have I CP reroll this? No, no that was in the psychic phase. So I'm going to CP reroll that. Are you? I don't know, Mikey. Am I? Yeah, you are. Go for it. Oh, okay, cool. That was a one. That's oh! a one. <laughs> so one shot, one right. hit. Do Strength. I get that CP back? Sorry. Of course. No. Oh no, I can't anyway because I already got one back. Do I, I get one back? Though. I do not. So I'm still on five. Cool. So, uh, strength winning on threes. Strength twelve. Rerolling ones. Good. Good thing. I think we'll say you are. Yeah. I'm four plus incredible. Which I pass. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> Okay. No. <laughs> Let's think what's going up next. Okay, so after that, showing the wave serpent is going to show you how to wound a Talos. So he's going to shoot into these guys. Yes. Cool. The Talos again, because you know yeah. they don't like moving. They just no. they just, just sit just there, sit there with their guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so show sure you can shot. So you're going to do something else. Oh yeah, spicy uh, serpent shield. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to go with the serpent shield so, first. Yeah. So it's uh, smite on a two up essentially. Yeah. Yay! Two, I so didn't D3 roll one. D3 wounds. Woo! Three. So three six ups on the Talos. Uh, which I pass one, so I take two wounds. Do I blow up? I do not. So that is one Talos destroyed. Well done. It's great okay. when you, you get exactly the amount of wounds you need. Yeah, okay. exactly. So would you like to shoot that wave serpent as well? Yes. Okay, so, so is he shooting shots. into the same unit? It is, yes. Okay. Real that one. And then it's. Fives again. Fives again, re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. So, one of, one of each again. So, one three plus. One four plus. Both failed. Nice. Two six ups. Both failed, so I'm down to five. Good. 
Wow, so Typhoons. that wave serpent did more wounds than I think anything else did. Anything else in the army. Yeah, <laughs> maybe Eldrad with his, his mind-bending powers. Exactly. But, so uh, we have two, wave serp uh, two fire prisms left. I realise why you haven't used your Vect yet. Mm. Is it because you've got a stratagem? So I'm going to fire this wave serpent, fire prism at your Talos. And oh, yeah. I'm maybe going to use this stratagem called Link Fire. I don't know how nice my P is feeling. The thing is, I've only got five CP left. So what I'll do is I'll let you shoot it, and then I'll just yeah. re-roll my saves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Darn. So it's one CP. Do uh, I gain that CP? I don't. No. <laughs> so effectively, those guns now reroll to hit. Sorry, these are the fire. The main cannons. Fire the, the main cannons. cannons. Yep. Yeah. So they now ignore line of sight, reroll to hit, and reroll to wound. Mm. And foolishly, I doomed that one. I should have probably doomed the other one. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. That would have been a good idea. Or move the yes. <laughs> hey ho. So uh, the one I've declared has to fire its cannon at the end of the phase, but it's, it's the last the end of the phase shoot, right? anyway. So, so I'm just going to fire them all at once. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the middle uh, profile. Middle profile, yeah, the D3 shots one, mm -hmm. uh, and I have moved up half, so I get two shots, uh, two lots of D3 each. So they're both shooting the same target. They are, yeah. Cool. So that's four shots. Can I leave now? <laughs> if you want. <laughs> just not. Oh very, my god! Gosh, it's not going I need well. new dice. <laughs> Buy a new dice. It helps oh. someone get a slash web store. I don't know what the URL uh, is. Yeah. to premium. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm on threes. We roll in. Oh, I'll hit. There we go. Watch me not even need the stratagem at this point. What strength is it? It's strength uh, nine, I believe. Okay, it's going to so be winning on threes. Threes, we roll in. Oh, there we go. Yay. Four I could have just CP rerolled. You could have just CP rerolled. <laughs> yeah. So four wounds, four four pin ones, which I fail one of. How much damage is it? It's D3, so I'm not even going to kill the one. Okay, I'll let it go through then. That's a one. That's one That's another one. One six up ignore damage. Ah, oh, that's four wounds. Well, oh, I can live with that. Ah, I've just remembered I've forgotten the dire renders. You're right. Yeah, you can shoot them as well if you want. That's fine. Are they going to shoot? Um, so four can see the Talos. I mean, these do surprising things sometimes. So four are going to shoot the doomed Talos. And four into there, one into there. One into the racks. One into the racks. Okay, do you want to do into the racks first? Racks first, yeah. So hit on threes. One hit. Wounding on fives. That's a one, but That's I get to reroll it because of my yeah. stone. Not another one. And then we'll get the other dice into that Talos. The Avengers shot into the Talos, we cause one wound with no uh, blade storm and one with the one armor save at three plus, which I pass, and then one four plus in run because of blade storm, which I fail. Six up, ignore damage. No, nope, take a wound, so I'm down to three. Okay. Mm. So, Josh, is that everything? I mean. That is everything that's shot, right? Yeah, that's everything that's shot. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. A little bit of a whiffer somewhere. Warp Hunter and the Fire Prism did not help you out there, which is a bit of a shame. Really, really unlucky. Do we have a charge phase this turn? Uh, there's a phase. Don't know if anything's going to happen with it, because anything I charge is pretty nasty, really. So, yeah. uh, all can fly away. Do you want to have a think uh, about it? Yeah, why not? Okay, so that was the end of the shoot two phase. Let's think about what's coming up next. Okay guys, so Josh has decided not to charge, which makes sense because the Talos are really nasty and these guys will fall over like that if they're going to come <laughs> up with him. Um, so, how do you feel like that? How do you feel that turn went? Uh, not great, I'll be honest, yeah. But, um, it could have been better. It's always better when you practice, like you like, oh, I wonder if they can win this, and you just roll dice, but when you actually comes onto the table and you just whiff on everything. And it's yeah, it's, it's so. just, it was a bit, really, really unlucky. I said, the, the, this guy whiffed, those guys whiffed, only causing a couple of wounds. I mean, he did kill Atalos and wounded another one, he wounded that one, which is good, but mm -hmm. they are very close now, and obviously Hemlock's really close, all the, the tanks that I want to kill are really close. Yeah. So, we'll so we'll work. see. So with that, I, got, I killed a unit, and I held an objective, uh, so I get two points for that. Uh, Josh held, didn't kill a unit because he only killed a single Talos. So I get a, I put get kill more as well, which means I get three points. Neither of us have hold more because we're both holding two because Josh has taken this one because he's obsec. And then I hold that one and that one and Josh holds this one as well. So that is three two on the primary. And then secondary, I got old school for first strike, but Josh got gangbusters for two points for killing the Talos and doing enough wounds. So it's currently drawn. It's five all. 
So it's not going as badly as I thought then. Four all, sorry, not five all. Yeah. Four each. So with that, that is the end of turn one, battle round one. Let's go into battle round two, it's Drakari movement phase, it's coming up next. Movement phase is complete for the Drakari. The Talos are in full play. These guys have moved over. They were going that way for the Night Spinners, but now I've changed my mind. I've got to come and deal with this. These guys that are doomed have moved over. They're going to try and jump over here, deal with this Wave Serpent so these guys can fit through and start doing some damage. The Racks have jumped onto this objective, so I'm have claimed it back for the Drakari. Uh, but I imagine these guys aren't going to last very long, hopefully. That's the plan. They shall survive. <laughs> Kane! This guy just shuffled forwards. He's got plenty of charge options. No. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the three Ravagers have moved over. I don't like the look of this Warp Hunter, funnily enough. So I'm going to try and deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Yeah. Um, the Racks have just secured that objective. This guy's going to come over. The Archon's protected with the unit of Racks. And then this Venom jumped over along with the Flyer. Can see this Night Spin if I want to kill it, but if not, I can join in and try and deal with the Warp Hunter. And the grotesques have come to play. Because they are nasty. They don't play nice, they're naughty kids. They are. That's what they do is quite sad. grotesque. Yeah. And their faces are quite grotesque. You can't just use the same pun twice. Yes, you can. Because <laughs> they're grotesque. <laughs> I'm just using it grotesquely. Let's go into the shoot phase. So guys, we just shot some poison into the Dire Avengers and into there. I managed to cause two wounds from that Venom over there. And then these two Venoms have managed to do a couple of wounds to these Dire Avengers. Uh, along with the Homunculus who did advance. So now we've got real shooting. Not mm. fake shooting. Not fake shooting. We're going to start with a Ravager for me, though. Do you want to know what I want to shoot? Is it a Warp Hunter? Ravager? It is a Warp Hunter, yes. Yeah. Well, so we're going to start with this Ravager. I'm going to shoot into this Warp Hunter. targeting a nice new unit. Although mm -hmm. it's probably going to die because of new model syndrome. I'm going to uh, lightning fast reaction. Okay. Please. I'm not going to vect. Yay! It's a new battle round, so do I get any CP back for that? Nope. Do I get any CP? No, I don't. I'm not getting any. Down to four, might be. Okay. Reason being is I don't have a lot of CP left. I've only got five left, and it's only 20, so I can save that for Seer Council and stuff like that. Make sure the Jinx doesn't go off. That's mm. my game plan. Yeah. Powerful. So, uh, first Ravager then, hitting on fours, we rolling ones. Oh, nice roll. Not bad at all, that was it. So two missed. Fires to wound, we rolling ones. So I rolled, I've instantly rolled better than last turn with the <laughs> first one. So three wounds at minus three. So six ups, followed by six six ups. Hey, so take five one. wounds. How many wounds do they have in total? Mm -hmm. 12. 12. So we're probably down to 7. So oh yeah, we'll just double check in the back in a second. We have indeed got 12 wounds in total, so down to 7. The next one, we're going to do the same. So, 4's to hit me rolling once. So you've made me hit, you've made me miss twice now. Is okay. it worth the CP? 2 CP? Not so far. <laughs> Not so much. 5 to wound. 2 wounds. The so 2 6 up saves. Nope. Failed both, so four more damage. Oh. Takes three more, it's down to four wounds. Final one, hit on fours. You made me miss three times. Great. Three times in total. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Five to wound in rolling ones. So it's one wound at minus three. Hey, you made, you made it. the save on a six. There we go. Okay, so he's down to four wounds, so I'm going to have to start shooting some Talos into him. So this first Talos is going to shoot into him with his 2d3 shots. That's four shots. Hit on fours, because I did not advance this turn. And then wounded on fives, but any fours are a mortal wound. So one mortal wound, one, one six. Six up. Yeah. Nope. Can't see it. Fail. Cool. So that's down to three. 
these two at the back I'm going to shoot into him. So four D3 shots. So that is, that was a, a one. So I'm not one. trying to trick you and get that six into there, so this was a one. Uh, it's fours to hit. And then fours to technically wound. Nothing. Oh, he's doing with me. <laughs> Rubbish. So the next final two are going to do with the same. So 4d3 shots. Okay. Okay, I was about to say Hellstorm dice actually respect each other, but no. No, <laughs> no they don't. <laughs> what am I going to do? How many water wounds do you think I'm going to do this time? I think I'm going to say about six. <laughs> How many shots you got? Uh, seven. No more than that. I think you're going to do a few. Three to hit. Oh, it's cool. A fourth hit, sorry. So far. See, I made him all miss with the Talos and the Ravages. Yeah. Oh, it's fives to hit because of minus one because you're lightning fast reacted. What are you playing at? <laughs> it's alright. So it's like three hits. Cool. Thanks for everything. Let's say it's that many. That's alright. So w one mortal wound. Yeah, three. I think that was right. So it's three mortal wounds. Yeah. And one armor save at minus one. So one armor save. Oh. So four wounds. Oh, you could get him. One six, one six. No. Nope. Nothing. Does he blow? He does take four wounds. So the one that the Talos did before, technically he didn't do it, then he just took another four. So that was right. Does he blow? No. Nope. He does not. So that is the warp hunter gone. So that is marked for death. That's because we remembered. New model syndrome <laughs> There you go, he's gone. Um so that's all the Talos shot. I've sort of sh I've just got the razor wing left. Uh so the razor wing is gonna shoot the disintegrate cannons into the night spinner. Uh, the poison, probably into these Die Avengers because I'll just do two shots. And the missiles into. Uh, I'll go this wave serpent, try and weaken it ready. So we'll do the two shots into the Die Avengers from the splinter. One hit, nothing. Then we'll do the disintegrated cannons into the night spinner. Threes to hit. And then fives to wound. That's two runes at minus three on the night spinner. That's four damage. Oh, does he blow up? He oh. does. Everyone within six takes D3 mortal wounds. Mm. Are you going to see Pete? Nah, I'm not actually, no. Okay, so your warlord takes D3 wounds. Takes one. Six does he ignore it? No. He does not. And, and then, then the on. other night spinner yep. takes one. Does he ignore it? Ah, it's not too bad. One wound on each. And a knight's been destroyed. And then I'll do the missiles into this wave serpent that's already taken damage. So it's D3 six shots. We roll that because it's definitely caught that time. Four shots. Hitting on threes. One missed. We're doing on fours, but we're rolling. Good thing. Because they've shot a few missiles. So three wounds at minus one. So oh, two failed. Two six ups. Damage. Yeah. So two wounds on this guy so he's down to nine okay so that's the end of my shooting phase not a terrible one no okay it was, at this it point. was okay but it was yeah. better than mine kind of so. caught caught up with that wave that night spinner yeah uh, but really killing this was very big so that's the end of the shooting phase so let's do some charges are you ready mm, no <laughs> okay so charge phase lots and lots to do we're going to start with the very important one mm this venom is going to charge these two wave serpents Both no just well, just one actually just, just this one, one. Okay. just one good because i don't have to get more dice yeah. now so <laughs> nine shots with the um, cannons just this one is it yeah just that one yeah the one out of range of root balls. so two hits and then fours to wound uh five uh, three to wound sorry one wound one four to save which i make charge range is six i think that's in so yeah he's going to charge to there okay now the grotesques are going to charge into that wave serpent. But Mikey, that means I don't get overwatch. Yay! No. So because it's turn two and they do have the R on the power of and pain table, I get to re-roll charges. That's just rude. So it's nine inch re-rolling. So I roll a four and a three, so that's seven, so I'm just going to re-roll both. That's a three, I need a six. Ah, oh, it's a one, so the grotesques have failed, that's a shame. Okay, so these Talos are going to charge this wave serpent and this wave serpent. Would you like to overwatch with one of them? Uh, 
Yes, I can count. Good. I see. I'm happy. So, six is hit me rolling ones because of the art arc. Okay, that's a bit rude. Another one. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, okay. So five hits. Sorry, six hits. Yeah. And then it's five you rolling because of doom. That's better. Yeah. Try again. <laughs> oh, oh fantastic. On. Fantastic. Thank you, Josh. Oh. So re rolling charges. But I do get a 10 inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge to here and here probably. Sure. So I'll just move those in. Those guys have charged to there. So now Urian is going to charge the hemlock and the wave serpent. Would you like to overwatch with the hemlock? I would like to overwatch. Okay. This could be fun. Yeah. So two or three hits. Okay, I Four want to CP re-roll this one. Interesting. Okay. okay. Then Please? Go okay. for it. Oh. Cool. Do I get it back? Do I oh. get it? Flushed. I do not. Down to three, mate. I'm still on five. So four hits. It's twos to wounds, I'm tough than six. It's four wounds. It is. Four four pin ones. I failed two, so that's four damage, is it? Yeah, all together. Four six ups. Which I failed them all. So I'm down to one wound, maybe two wounds, I think. I'll 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 put a number one next to so we'll double check. Cool. However, the charge range is a seven, which I think is gonna get me to there which I want to be. Cool. So we'll just measure that. So he does only have five wounds, so he is there, so he's in a bit of trouble, but there you go. So now this unit of Talos are gonna charge the Hemlock and the Wave Serpent. Just getting all up in your grill, yeah. having a great party. So party time over here. Yes, yes. So charge range is about four inches, but I'm gonna re-roll it, because <laughs> it's turn two. Okay, so four inches, I think I'll probably maybe clip the Hemlock, we'll just double check. Okay, so these guys did just make it in, there was just, just enough room to get in there. Uh, the Venom is now gonna charge your Die Avengers. Would you like to overwatch? I would like to overwatch. How many have got left? So you've got three. Three. So six shots. You know, six is rerolling ones. Two hits. And then five to wounds. I'm top is five. Nothing. Nothing. So charge range is four. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it's enough. I'm going to go to there. The racks are now going to charge your Die Avengers. All right. So that is seven. So these are going to guys are going to charge like this. Stop you getting me in that objective, basically. The single Talos is going to charge. Um, hmm, I was thinking about going for your Warlock, and I think I might do. So I'm going to charge the Hemlock, yes. the Wave Serpent, and the Warlock. Would you like to watch with the Warlock? I would. So if basically, what I'm going to try and do is get here. Yeah. Okay, so, here so goes. we've got. Do you think I can do it? I hope not. <laughs> I'm going to kill your Hemlock first. Yeah. So, so you got this sure the Shokun, yeah? Six to three rolling ones. Nope. Singing spear. This is the fun part. No. No. It's not Charge range. Oh it's got no. ten. He's gonna be able to fly straight over, I think. So he's gonna be able to go to there. Huzzah. Right then. I think that's all the charges done. Mm. Um So would you like to heroically intervene? Oh, I don't know. Should we have a look? Oh, yes. So at the end of the charge phase, Eldrad and the Autark have both heroically intervened in the Talos. I can't do anything about that and I also can't hit them. Which is not fun, but there you go. So, uh, I'll also use a Vexator Mask at the start of the fight phase to make the Hemlock fight last. What? Because that's the only unit that's within six. I mean, that could kill What's-His-Face if you don't even kill it before then, but... No, if it chances up. are it's dead, so... Yeah, so I'm going to start with this Talos and I'm going to be punching the Warlock, funnily enough. Funnily enough. So I'm just going to double check the stats. I'm back in a second. He's going to hit the Warlock with Macro Scalpel, he's within 6 of Urien, so he becomes strength 8. So 5 attacks hitting on 3s. And wounding on 2s. I'll re roll that one because it's clearly copped. It's better. It's 3 wounds. So 3 4 plus in ones. Go he on. failed 2, so it's 4 damage. Uh, I'm going to CP re roll. Okay. One of those. So, Go for did it. He save it? No, it's another one. It's another one, so Do 4 I damage. Get back? Do I get your CP? I do not. <laughs> so four six up saves or the warlock is destroyed. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> hey! He survives on two wounds, there you go, it's basically like saving it. Yeah. So he takes two. So would you like to intervene or can I carry on? You can continue, sir. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm not going to really do much, to be honest. So, um, these Talos are going to go next. So they're going to pile in. So I'm going to pile in this one to here, and then this one to here. And they're going to attack the Hemlock. 
funnily enough, with 10 attacks, because there's two. Hitting on threes. So one missed. And then they are strength eight, so wounded on threes. So that is, I'll reroll that one because it's like the cocked. Two, four, six, seven, minus two saves. Uh, attempt five, seven, five ups. Six, seven. Make two. Make two, that's two damage each. So that five is ten, fails. ten damage. Ten six up saves. And so you take seven Make damage. Three, take seven. Cool, so you're down to five. Uh, yes. No, no wait. No, Is it not wounds. the wound left? No, that's uh, on the way serpent. On this guy. Oh, of course, yeah. Fine. Cool. So we're going to do Yurian next, so just be, just be a second. Going with Yurian next, there's a couple of things I need to know. The Yurian halves all damage on the... Just halves all damage. It's kind of like Abaddon or Kalgar. So he's actually only taking two wounds. He's got three left. Which is much safer. Thank God. Sure. Uh, so then he's got... Um, on the turn he charges... Uh, roll a d6 for each enemy unit within three inch of Yurian on the start of the fight phase. On the six, that unit takes a mortal wound. That's a few units. So yes, it is. So this this guy... Yep. Does not. Wave Serpent. Does not. Die Avengers. Does not. I'm going to roll a different dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, Autark. Does not. Eldrad. Does not. Cool. That was ah. fun. Enjoyed yep. that. So Yurian has four attacks. He's going to make three just with his fists. Just with his hands, because he has a he has a homunculus tools which are poison, so I only wound you on sixes. Right. If I use just my hands, I will wound you on fives. You're gonna touch up my hemlock. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and touch up your hemlock, and then he's got his eye core injector afterwards. So two hits, five to wound, nothing, didn't make a difference. So now he's got his one eye core injector attack. It's strength user, but he rerolls wounds and it's minus one. However, for all the six to wound, take D3 mortal wounds as well. So many more wounds. I mean, I can't complain. I Addition, have yeah. Psychers, so. Two to hit. Hits. Six is. Uh, it's fine, he's re rolling. Yeah. Re rolling. Looking for a six. Oh, uh, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> so one at minus one. So uh, you take a wound, plus D3 mortal wounds. Roll the three, so that's three wounds in total, matey. As, did you roll. So I've got. Yeah, roll I rolled roll roll the three, so it's two so mortal it's wounds. Four. Hey? So you rolled, what did you roll on the D3, sorry? Two. Right. Okay. There you go. So it's three to wound yeah. in total. Cool. So that's three wounds. Down to two left. Down to two. Sadly, because it's a hemlock, that doesn't really make much of a difference. Yeah. But there we go. Okay, so, um, so that's those two Talos and Yurian done. I'm now going to go with these two Talos, and these two Talos are going to target just this wave serpent. So let's get some dice ready. Three, six, nine, ten. Three's to hit. Oof, bit of a whiff. Don't touch this. And then three's to wound, which don't fate. So that is five wounds. Minus two. Five ups. Oh, nice. Okay, one so you failed one, so two damage. I didn't even make one of them. You made one of you feel no pains. So it only takes one wound from yes. two Talos. Nice. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this combat phase is starting to look like my first shooting phase. Yeah. So what we're doing is going to do the venoms and the racks into the dive engines and stuff. So we'll just do that off camera. Just done all the rubbish combat off camera. So these guys attacked. I lost two racks. Uh, Josh lost no one. Um, the hemlock and stuff have attacked here. Did nothing. This guy attacked, hit, but did nothing. This wave serpent's attacked. So we've just got the three characters left. So who would you like to strike with first? Uh, let's start with Eldrad. Eldorado. Eldorado. <laughs> Eldorado. Something Spanish. Yes. So. Um, so he's just got two attacks. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to hit with uh, essentially the like spirit psychery weapon. Cool. So always wins on twos. Cool. Does D3 damage but not AP. So yeah. I've got two attacks here on twos. Both hit. Two hits. Winning on twos. Two, two wins. Two three up saves. Uh, one failed, so D3 damage. Three. Three wounds. Uh, we will like it's cocked. So three wounds. Nice. I'm down to two. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do the warlock next because I want it's the same bad boy to yeah. Uh, don't help him. Two's there. These are threes. threes. But real ones. One, one hit. Wound number two. Two. One wound. Three plus. Which he passes. I just knocked the dice. I'll re-roll it. Which I fail, and I'm going to CP it. Share my combat. That one. So I do pass. Do I get my CP back? Yay! Yay! I'm still on five. Yay. Okay. Altark. Out. Out. Yeah. 
so I have four attacks with him. Yeah. I uh, hit on twos, but it's minus one to hit with the star glaive. So yeah. I'm going to so hit on three rolling ones. ones. Sorry. Oops. Reroll that one. Nice. All right. Uh, strength times two, so I'm strict six. Okay, but so still within range, so it'll be fives right now. Fives to wound, yeah. No. That's a whiff. That is a whiff. There's a whiff, whiff, whiff. Mm. Okay, so that is all the combat done. Uh, not a terrible turn on my part. It was a bit of a whiffy combat phase. I mean, I've, yeah. I've nearly killed that, which is good, but realistically, I probably should have killed it. Yeah. Doing one wound to this guy was a bit terrible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so not a terrible turn. Uh, not quite as strong as last turn, but still very good. Putting all the pressure on now. How are you feeling? Feeling a bit more confident now? Uh, I'm feeling better because that didn't go as well as I was expecting it to go for my key. Um, thankfully, the hemlock's alive, which gives me um, a jinx. some yeah, a jinx. Also, the warlock. But I'm just thinking of the maneuverability of just chuck yeah, two true. damage. Out. Of course, the warlock is still alive. Who should have died? Nah. <laughs> Oh, also the Dire Avengers are alive that you said we'd kill. Yeah, that's yeah. true. For Kane. There you go, for Kane. I can't fail the morale there. I am holding this objective currently though. Um, so you'll have to pull out of combat to hold this objective. Because currently, because you can't pile in, because... Oh, then again, if you you probably can pile in after fighting. So what happened was, is when you piled in to fight, you couldn't get within three. Yeah, but now... Yeah, after, but consolidate now, you can see, so you can yeah. move as normal. So we're currently contesting this objective, because you'll pile into there. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So currently contesting that objective, that one is being held by me because I have two models currently there, you only have the one. But interesting, so let's go into Eldar turn 2, what's coming up next? Phase complete for the craft world of that. A complete switcheroonie. Yeah. The trap has been sprung, the wave serpents have jumped over out of combat, being able to shoot all of these talos and stuff now, which is not going to be very good. The um, Divenger is staying in combat because he's kind of scoring recon. Uh, I think he happily scored recon this turn unless you lose the Divengers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that could be interesting. Yes, Although indeed. The, this, I oh don't know, because that'll be like what the bot might be over of the wave serpent. Yeah, maybe. Um, so you basically pull out of combat, you're going to try and shoot me to death and see what happens, basically. Yeah. So, um... We do have a psychic phase. There is a psychic phase, so I, I'm going to say, basically, the characters have pulled out, along with the Autark. Yeah. These guys just booed out. The Hemlock's going over there and those guys have stayed still. That's about it. Yeah. Let's go. It. Let's go to the psychic phase. So, psychic phase, what would you like to do first? I'm going to spend a CP for mm. seeing council. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to Vector this time. Oh, okay. Roll one, then. So does it go off? It does. It does. Okay. Do I get any CP back? I do. I get one back. So I'm on two. Cool. Cool. End of the psychic phase? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to start with Jinx. Yeah. It's going to come from this Warlock. Mm -hmm. I need a seventh cast. Oh, I get, get it. an eight. There you go. Didn't even need the plus one. Uh, exactly. I'm going to stick Jinx. Onto this unit. Into well, no, that unit. I'm gonna stick into this okay. unit here, which is hiding from me. There it is. So that's that unit there. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going on to Eldred. Yep. He is going to cast Executioner. Very nice. So I need a seven to cast this. That's a nine. Okay, goes off. So yep. that's going to be on Urian. Yeah. Closest unit. D3 wins. Three wins. Three wins. Three six ups. I survive on one. Alright. One wound. He's my smite bubble. Yeah. But also, he's he's the one giving me plus one strength. So. Yeah. So I'm not going to cast Doom. Okay. Need a seven, and I get it. Goes off. Sure, it wasn't smite. Yeah. Um, Doom, Doom. is going to land on the same unit as the Jinx. Makes sense. Yeah. 
Uh, he's got one more power, and he, so he's going to cast Smite. Cool. So, same as last time, hopefully. I need plus one to this, so that's so goes seven. Off on. D3. But I'm going to ring to the far side this one. Okay. No, nope. so just D3. Uh, so, yeah. One wound, one six up. Which I fail, so Yurian is dead. There we go. But the first unit I've killed. No, it's the first unit you've killed. No. That is kill one. Yeah. Okay, any more psychic powers? Yeah, just smite from the okay. hemlock. So that does go, go off. D3 mortal wounds. Oui. Three mortal wounds into the unit of rack. Like that. Sorry. So I save one, so I lose two racks. Kill that one as well. Doesn't work it out. Cool, so two rats dead. Is that the end of the psychic phase? That is the end of my psychic phase. Okay, let's go into the shooting phase. Okay, so we've just done the warlock, we shot into the talus and this talus and did nothing. What would you like to shoot next? Uh, so we're gonna do this wave serpent. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna fire his, all his cannons into this uh, this unit. Makes sense. That's got all the powers on it. And then he's gonna disperse his serpent shield into the homunculus. Okay, dokie. So on a two up. Yeah. Goes off, D3 three wounds, two. two wounds, two six ups. Which I've failed both, so I'm down to three. Okay, so nine shuriken cannon shots into the doomed Talos. Good shooting text. Oh, I can reroll the one because of the attack. Okay. Still missed. Still missed. And then five to wound, so reroll in. Nice. Very nice. So okay. we have two normal and three minus three. But my two normal are now four ups because of Jinx. And then three minus three, which are now five ups. So that's four wounds. Four six ups, which I ignore none of. So this unit takes four wounds. So it takes three and then one. Do I blow up? I do not. So that is one Talos destroyed. Boom. That Talos is now to six because he's out of range of the homunculus. Yes. Okay. Okay, so next uh, we're going to shoot. Uh, what are we going to shoot? So next we're going to go with this wave serpent. Mm -hmm. He's going to shoot into this guy. Cool. Nine shots. Rear all his ones. Mm -hmm. Too many twos. Lots and lots of twos <sighs> there. Four, twos. Four hits. Five to a new roll in. Four to a new roll in. New roll in. Good thing. Jinx is honestly one of the best things about Crack Worlds. Yeah, so two wounds, two four plus saves, made both. Cool. Okay. That was rude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alrighty, so we're going to shoot this Night Spinner. Night Spinner. He's going to go into the Into the grotesque. grotesque. So 2d6 shots. That is four shots. Yeah, you know what I said, they were good. <laughs> <laughs> Threes to hit. We are rolling ones. One yeah, hit. great. <laughs> and then toughness five. Nothing. nothing. Okay, let's think about what's going to come next. Okay, so what's next, Josh? What's uh, next? So we're going to fire this hemlock into mm -hmm. the centre ravager. A ravager. Okay. So two d three auto hits. Very nice. Four hits. Uh, strength twelve, so twos. I believe it's strength twelve. Uh, yeah, strength twelve, so twos. That's four wounds. Four invulnerable saves, which I make none of. Uh, two eight damage each. Eight damage. So because they are black heart, I get a six up ignore damage, which I make none of. So he takes cool. eight wounds. <laughs> I think he has. I think he has not Ten. a lot left. Yeah, I think they have two yeah, left. So. Cool. Okay, so let's think about what's coming up next. Okay, so next we've got a wave serpent. The final wave serpent is it? Yep, that's one. And which one's it? What's he going to shoot? He's going to shoot these racks. Okay. Cool. Okay. So nine shots hit on threes. One miss. Nice. Wounded on threes. Uh, no, it'd be really nice. I think a bit too far for the altar. Yeah. So uh, that so is six wounds six saves. and one at minus three. Uh, so I just have an invulnerable save, so four plus, which I failed four of. Six up, ignore damage, which I make one of, so I lose three. One, two, three. Cool. Okay. So Do you now know what's next? Pardon? Do you know what's next? I do. So move back of five prisms in the corner. Mm -hmm. Just chilling there. So I'm going to spend one CP. A linked fire once again. A linked fire, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to check if the other slung guns are in range. One so the just the one is. Um, so start with that on the slung. Yep. 
Two hits. hits. Five to wound. No Nothing. wounds. So then we'll move on to the... Uh, well, we'll just do both of them at the same time again. Okay. What so are they going to shoot? They're going to shoot the uh, D3 damage. Middle uh, Into him. Sorry, into the... They're both shooting. Because they would cool. link fire, you have to shoot at the same target. Cool, yeah. So both into the Grotex. Both into the Grotex. So this many D3. Eight, three to roll this. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> Running on three, because it's strength nine. Reroll into wound. Oh, wow, all of my rerolls have been exactly the same. Yeah, so four wounds. Yeah, four, four, four ups. Uh, so I fail three of them. I want to CP one of them, which I fail. Uh, I've already got one back this phase, ah, so I've got one left. So is it four? Yeah, so it's D3 damage. I have four wounds each. You're going to have to roll two, two at a time, yeah. So that's a dead. So one take. I've got six up in my oh, damage. Yeah, of course. One takes four wounds. Don't need he survives on one. Uh, so it, then he takes. Two. two wounds, so he dies, and yep. then the final one, one wound, one six up, which I fail. So one's taken one wound and one's dead. So I'll kill that one, and then this one will take a wound. Okay, so let's just pick up some dice if I can take them. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Luna go test, take a wound. This Talos is still on two wounds. This Talos is still alive on six. The Homunculus is only on three, but these Talos are still fresh as a daisy currently. So. At the end of the shooting phase? Yeah. I'm is, running out of guns. Is there a charge phase? Guns, guns to you. I don't charge think phase. there is a charge phase, is it? Because everyone pulled out of combat. Yeah, everyone's pulled out of charge, uh, combat. There's no charges, mm -hmm. but there will be one combat. So one fight? Yeah. Okay, so you get to fight first. Yeah, so I've still got three left. One is the Exarch. So yeah. Four attacks. I'm going to hit on threes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Still five. So five. Uh, still four, sorry. Still fives. Yeah. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. So two four pin ones. I lose two. Six up, ignore damage. I lose one. Okay, that's not too bad. Does that leave you with two? It does leave me with two. So I need to kill you back. So, because it is battle round three, I now hit on... Oh, no, it's not battle round, it's still two. Sorry, my yeah. apologies. Three's to hit. Are you still plus one, though, on your... I mean, it doesn't matter there, but... No, so it's just poison weapon, so four's to wound. So one wound. Four up. Suspense. I'm going to take it on the Xart. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, oh, so you anyway. do survive. Okay, so that is the end of the battle round, I think. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Let's work out the score, but you did, you, did you kill a unit? Uh, yeah, I killed uh, the character. Can't you did kill Yurian. So that is going to be kill one. You do currently hold one, because you hold one. this one now yeah. over me. But I'm going to get hold more. Yeah. Uh, and then you, you will score recon, so we'll just do all the scores and catch up. Guys, so at the end of the battle round, Josh does kill one and he gets hold on because he's holding this one now over my racks because uh, they're all upset over there. So I got kill, I killed the unit and held an objective, so that's two points. Josh got killed the unit and hold an objective, so that's two points to him. However, I killed two units and I hold three objectives, so I get kill more and hold more this turn. Whereas Josh scores another gangbusters and recon because he's got a unit in every quadrant of the board. So the score is currently 9 8. Mm. It's closer than I thought it'd be at this point. It is pretty close. This is going to be the turning turn, I think. No pun intended. The no. turning turn, yeah. The turning points, yes. So about round three, I do start hitting on twos, but if I whiff this turn, I think you've probably won, because I think I'll probably die after that. How I'm, running, <laughs> I'm running out of models. So, so it should, should be pretty close. Should be interesting. Going into turn three for the Drakari, that's coming up next. Okay, guys, movement phase is complete for the Drakari. It's all or nothing time. All or nothing. Gotta kill them all. Yeah, I've got kill to kill them all. all. Yeah, so the Talos have created a defensive wall. We've got to deal with this. Is the guys inside of this one? No, that's the one that oh. all the guys jumped out of. Damn. These are the. Damn it. The so the, Ven the guys in the Venom have jumped out so they can start dealing with the Die Avengers, and the Venom's jumped over to here. These guys have jumped out. He's only gonna try and deal with the Warlord. These guys have jumped out and he's just gone there just to block you off a little bit. Reason my thinking is, is whilst uh, all my Cavalites are now on the board, it's more targets for you to deal with, but I can use my Venoms more aggressively. Mm -hmm. And also I'm upset, so yeah, I've got to deal with them. Yeah. The Racks have pulled out, so I can shoot here. Um, it's all or nothing. The Ravages have shuffled. These guys don't have Serpent Shields anymore, so I'm going to try and kill one of them. But I'm also going to try and deal with that Hemlock as well. So, that's the end of the movement phase. Let's go into the shooting phase. Hooray! So, this Talos will start the shooting phase, and he's going to shoot into this Warlock. 2d3 shots. Four shots. Hit on falls. 
wounding on falls. Nothing. No, nope. <laughs> serves you right. <laughs> Second one is going to do the same. So, five shots. Walls. Followed by falls. So, one wound, but minus one on the warlock. Alright, so four have been running away. Yeah. Loves it. Makes it. Okay. Well, that's rude. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to have to do this guy. Razor wing, I'm going to put the disintegrated cannons into this wave serpent, and then I'm going to put the poison, mis poison rifles and the missiles into the warlock. You know why they call them missiles, right? No, I don't. <laughs> no, none of that. <laughs> so the disintegrated cannons into the wave serpent, hitting on threes. And then wounded on fives. So that's one wound at minus three on the wave serpent. I'm doing it now. So what it does go through, it is two damage and he no longer has his shield, so it's two damage. So uh, one wound. Brilliant. <laughs> then we have the savage. poison into the warlock. Right. One hit. Nothing. And then we have the, the Shatterfield missiles. So three shots hitting on threes. And then threes to wound re-rolling. One wound. One four plus. Ooh. Takes a wound, six, six up. up. Yes. Oh, God damn it, okay. <laughs> right, this venom is going to rapid fire everything into the warlock. So it's splinter cannon, so that's six shots. And then the splinter rifle, which is four shots. So ten shots in total. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Okay, that is four wounds, four four ups. It's like the bit from Leon where he's like, Send everyone! <laughs> Gonna need it. Watch there he this. goes. Yeah. That's one wound. <laughs> Alright, just take it though. He's down to one. What a bloody nightmare. What a bloody nightmare. Everyone. <sighs> just rude. Just rude. Okay, let's think about what these guys can shoot. They can probably shoot some Dire Avengers, so I'll hopefully be able to do that. So, five Cabalite Warriors into these Dire Avengers. So, threes to hit. Should move that on to the guy with six wounds. Uh, so, it will hit. No, that's his wounds. That's why there's too many dice. And fours to another Dire Avengers. Just one wound on the Dire Avengers. Any AP? No AP, it's just poison. Four up then. Nope. Six up. Loves it. Makes it. Right, okay. This unit is going to rapid fire into him. So, threes to hit. Oh, we're rolling ones because of the Archon. Yep. Yay. Nice. And then fours. That is four wounds on the Dire Avengers. No AP again. No AP, no. That's three wounds, three six ups. One lives. Or the Dire Avenger dies and one dude dies. The Exot. You take two wounds. I took two, so kill the non Exot guys. That's okay, the Exot. Cool. cool. So those two died. Yep. The Archon will shoot its pistol. Two's to hit. Falls to wound. Uh, nothing. Um, okay, okay. Hmm, hmm, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is my objective. Cool, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to have to do the Ravagers now. This the is Ravagers. The I'm to. So the one that's on two wounds is now hitting on fives. Yeah. So I'm going to do him first. Cool. Ah, I see where you're going with this. I'm going to shoot into this Venom. Oh, I didn't see where you were going with this. Oh really? I thought you were going to shoot the Hemlock just because it had two yeah. wounds left. So I've got the Talos left to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. So, Fair enough. Because if I shoot the Hemlock, I'm sixes to hit, you see. Because it's minus one. Oh, yeah. yeah so into the Wave Serpent, five to hit. Rerolling ones. No rerolls. One wound. What, five to wound, sorry. Rerolling ones. One wound at minus three. That's a save. That is a save. That's getting rude now. <laughs> Very rude. <laughs> Okay, so these two Talos, it is a unit, they are going to shoot into the Hemlock, I believe, in your range. Can you just check it 24 inch? Of course I can. Anything for you, Mikey. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, they're both in range. Both in range. Okay, so I'll shoot both into there, because I just want to make sure it dies. You know what, actually, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to split fire. I'm going to put one Go Talos on. into there, no, so no two Haywire works. Blasters. And then the other one is going to go into this guy. You know what? No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to do the Ravagers. Second Ravager into that wave serpent. Freeze to re rolling ones. One missed. Five to wound re rolling ones. Two wounds at minus three. That's two fails. That's four damage. Four damage. Down to seven? Yep. Third Ravager doing the same thing. One missed. Five zero rolling ones. 
Ooh, there we go. Four wounds, four six ups. Six damage. Not enough to kill me. Take six, he's down to one. Now we're going to split five with the Talos. <laughs> so one Talos will shoot this way, step, and one Talos will shoot that Hemlock. So the one into the Hemlock first. I'm going to need more than two shots, I'm going to have to CP one. Two shots. Do I get my CP back? No. I'm going to change these dice, these are terrible. <laughs> Fives to hit. Ah, rubbish. Split okay. Firing. Yep. And then two D three shots into the wave serpent. Four shots. Falls to hit. Falls to wound. Or one mortal wound on the wave serpent. Strength seven. Uh, it's haywire, so it's only strength four, but it is because I roll a four. Just it's mortal the wound. wound. Yeah. Yeah. So six up. No. Nope. Does he blow? No. Does anyone inside fall over? Whilst trying to get out? Rip burns in a flaming fire! No, Nearly. no they don't. So let's oh. get those out and think about what's coming next. So those guys have jumped out, so now the Venom has a target! Hooray! So the Venom's going to rapid fire into the Die Avengers now with his splinter. So three's to hit. Hopefully I can do more than I did to the unit over there in combat. That's a bit better. Yeah. That is five wounds. Any AP? No AP, it's splinter. Four of seven. Two. Sixes. Two dead. Or two wounds. Let's about the X-Arc. No, it's alright. Okay. So then the Cabalite's going to do the same thing. So 10 shots hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. So that is two wounds. Four ups. Lovely. Okay, made them both. Alright. Okay. That Hemlock is going to be a bit of a pain. So the Archon is going to shoot a splinter pistol into him. Dun, dun, dun. Threes. Hits. Sixes. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Not unexpected was that result. <laughs> so I've shot both Talos, I've shot the Venom, I've shot this guy. I've not shot that Venom over there into your Warlord. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Threes. You've not got minus one to hit or anything, have you? Uh, Shimmer, please. No, I do, yep. You minus one to minus hit? Minus one to hit. I almost forgot about that and then remembered and then was like, no, and then, yeah. Thanks Four wounds. It's alright. Three wounds. Three wounds, no AP. Uh, so it's three up there. Takes a wound. Six up. Takes a wound, very good. Very, very good. Three left. Okay. Uh, I think that is me done for shooting, to be honest. All right. Let's go into the charge phase. Guys, it's time for charges. The charges I don't really want to do. Ugh, I'm make stressed. Them. The Venom is gonna charge your Warlord. All righty, it's just a shuriken pistol then. Which misses. Nope. Charge range five. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go around the back of the warlord. That'll do to there. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so um, I'm going to move this dice because this venom is going to charge the warlock, Eldrad, the wave serpent, and your. Oops. That's it. It's going to charge those three. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do? We're going to do the bike first. Mm -hmm. Catapults. Nothing. Move on the mm -hmm. ones. Not too far away. I think. Yeah, I don't think. Well, so. anyway. Go for it. We got measuring. Misses. And the spear. Oh. Hits. Wounds on a two. Wounds. Four plus. Jamaic. Cool. Uh, then we've Eldred. got Eldred Shuriken Pistol. No. And then we've got three, six, nine shots from the Wave Serpent. That's a waste of a six. Six is re rolling ones because of the Autark. Oh, tasty. Three's to win because it's top to five. Yep. Two wounds, two three, four plus. One wound, one six up, ignore damage because of black heart. Nope, so I take your wound, so I'm down to five. And then the X arc over there has two times. I, 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 I said the uh, X arc, but then I changed it, so I, I kind of looked at right. it, I realised it was cool. too far, so I'm just charging these three. Right. So charge range Hang is on. eight, so I'm going to charge without pulling the Talos out of the way to there. Yep. Okay, so now this Talos is going to charge. The Warlock and Eldrad, which you'll be able to do mm -hmm. to there. This Talos is going to charge um, Eldrad, the Warlock, and the Wave Serpent. All right. I'm hoping to kill this little bubble, as you can probably tell. Yes. Let's not move the Warlock. Let's put the Warlock like that. Let's charge to there. The ta two Talos are going to charge the Wave Serpent 
Um, you know, sorry, I'm going to charge the homunculus into the wave serpent and the autark. Alright. You cannot overwatch because I have the vexator mask. Oh, I cannot. Yeah, this is anyway. Didn't matter, anyway. So seven, so he's going to charge to there. And then the talus going to charge both. So, so to there and there. Charges. So many charges. Your dog, I heard you like to charge us. I love so charging, I bro. Charges with your charges. This Venom is going to charge these Dire Avengers. Oh, yeah, I get to shoot. <laughs> you do get to shoot, yes. That is a thing. One hit. I get to shoot once. Nothing. And, uh, they turn to three. Oh, no, it's the, it's the, the, the Venom. It's the yeah. So he's in. I should put that up there. So he's going to charge to there. Yep. Um, I think the Cabalites might charge as well. The Racks will charge, see if they can make it. With a nine, can the racks make it? Yeah. Can sure. they go round? Pretty much. Make it budget. if I if I charge to here. Oops. Try and stay out of the way. What the way. Nine. Yeah, whatever that'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for it. I'll run. I'll run around the other way, I guess. Yeah, probably. Um. That's probably the same distance. Yeah. This archon is going to charge into the. No, no, I'll charge the cab lights. Go for it. So cab lights into there. Nope. Cool. So cab lights get a. Six inch charge. And then the Archon will charge with a double six. He definitely wants to get in combat. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do it over there. The Ravager's gonna charge the Hemlock. The Ravager? Yeah, the first one that's not damaged. Oh, oh no, that's not <laughs> what I to see. Just two's to wound. Oh no, oh, oh that's no. three wounds, three five ups, I'm gonna ignore one of them. Ignore two, two of them, so Six. two damage. Two wounds, okay, I can take that. Charge range, seven. Oops, buff. The next Ravager, I'm gonna charge at an angle, so I'm within six of the wall lock, the Archon. The, yep. the damage Ravager, yeah. The third Ravager, yeah. He's a fly over to here. in the sky. Yes. I'm trying to pin the needle on the... I've just got like six there. attacks, I've just got to hope for the best. <laughs> um, okay, so that's those charges done. They've all charged. They've charged. That's charged. The Grotesque is going to charge the Fire Prism. Would you like to Overwatch? I'd love to Overwatch. <laughs> just the one Fire Prism? Just the one, yeah. Uh, the Toughness... Toughness five. Five. So I'm going to do the D6 uh, mm -hmm. profile. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Seven shots. No re-rolling for you, sir. <gasps> no. Three hits, that's Still rude. Three hits. Three, two wounds. Two wounds. No IP. Two four ups, One both damage. failed. One damage each. Two six ups. Takes two wounds, so he's down to one. Chad range, I think I'm in. Yay. <laughs> All right then, okay, so. We're gonna do loads of combats probably off camera because there's a lot to do. We'll probably do those ones off camera. We'll probably do these ones off camera because it's just, you're gonna take wounds and often not much is gonna happen back. Yeah. It's these ones that are important. So we'll be back in a second. Cool. So we resolve this combat, I won. We resolve that combat, I did nothing. Uh, you haven't attacked back yet. I yeah. went here, caused a wound to a Dive Avenger, went over there, did nothing. Went over here, caused three wounds. Yeah. Which isn't great. They're good, they're really good against infantry grotesque, not really against tanks, but I've gone there just to kind of make you move and stuff like that. So So we have all the Talos and this Venom, and the Venom is gonna attack your Warlord. Uh, Warlock, sorry, not Warlord. The Warlock. Yeah, cool. so two attacks on fours. Missed. Damn. Okay. Not great, not great. So the first Talos is going to go into the Warlock, this one here. All right. And he's going to use his Chain Flails this time. Is that the double attacks one? It is the double attacks. Oh. It's 10 attacks hitting on twos. Oh boy. Oh boy. I missed. Twos because it's about around three. Wounding on threes because it's strength seven. So that is three, seven saves. Seven four ups. Doom. Just gotta make a triple six, right? Three Easy. six ups. Nice. There's the warlock gone, finally. Finally the warlock is destroyed. Oh no, slay the warlock. <laughs> slay the warlock, yes indeed. There you go. Thank you. And then he'll pile say, in uh, to there. Another one bikes the dust. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I've been saving that one. You have been saving that one to be fair. So then I'm gonna do these two Talos and they're gonna attack the wave serpent. Right here. So ten macro scalpel attacks, hit on twos. 
one missed. Wounding on fours, because I'm only strength seven, because there's no Yurian. Yep. So that is four, so right. minus two. Five up ten. Oh, you failed them all, so it's eight damage. Sixes. Take two, so, so it takes take six. six. So you're down to three. Oh, bottom bracket. Bottom bracket. So that is those two done. And then this Talos is going to pile in and hit the Wave Serpent as well with his Macro Scalpel. So hitting on twos will hit. Wounding on fours. That is two wounds. Oops, at minus two. Two damage. Two wounds. One down there. to one. So the Homunculus is going to have to punch him now, and I can't remember what it does in combat. Have to hit the Wave Serpent, who's on one wound. There we go. So he's got five attacks, so he's going to put one into the Icor Injector and four into his hands. So four into his hands first, hitting on twos. Magic hands. There's two hits, and then fives to wound, nothing. Icor Injector, twos to hit. Oh. I need my final CP to re-roll it. Twos. It does hit on a six. So he's strength three. He's strength three. So it's six to wound re-rolling, but if I get six to wound, it's D3 more wounds. Yeah, which ain't fun. Are you all in? It's cocked. Four levels of cocks. Oh, yeah. it's a five. It doesn't wound. Don't have a CP back. I do not, so I'm out of CP now. Damn, failed to kill a wave serpent. That is annoying. That is frustrating. Hmm. So would you like to attack back with your characters? Yes. I and then we'll do wave serpents and stuff off camera. Sure. So who would like to strike first? Um, so we'll do... Eldrad, he's going to hit this two wounds left one. Okay. And he's going to hit with his wounds on two plus. So hits on twos. Uh, Reroll because of the outtalk. Mm -hmm. Hits and then wounds on twos. That's two wounds. Bless you. No <laughs> Sorry. So two three up saves. Both passed. Now the outtalk's going to hit the homunculus. The, the, the homunculus. Uh, okay, we're back in second. Okay, so the the outtalk into the homunculus. So hits on twos, minus one to threes. Mm -hmm. Rerolling would be good. <laughs> Rerolling ones. Oh, still two twos. The Moculus is toughness five. Uh, it's time to do strength, so. <laughs> 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 the Moculus is toughness five, so you have strength. Strength six because it's times two, so Close it's going to be three threes. Three. One wound. One wound, and I'm. How many wounds have you got left? Three. Uh, I'm gonna use. The Vonkulus hasn't three. taken any. Oh no, he has taken. He's on three. Yeah, he's uh, smart. Disperse. Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use my last CP mm -hmm. to reroll this. That passes. Do I get it back? No. So I'm at CP now. Two wounds at minus three. One six up. Do I get it back? Do I get your CP? I do not. So two invulnerables. I make them both. Oh no, that's just real rude. <laughs> okay, so that's Eldred done. That's him done. Warlord into the venom. Oh yes. So again, four attacks. Real as ones. One miss. Mm -hmm. uh, it's toughness five, so threes. Wow. Okay. Nice. Did not want to kill him there, did you? No. Nope. I completely forgot to pile him with the venom, if you don't mind, uh, oh, sure. into the fire prism as well. Uh, into the night spin, sorry. Yeah. So I'll do all the vehicles combat back, and we'll be back in a second. Fire prism actually killed one of the grotesques, one that was on one wound, which is amazing. The hemlock did nothing in combat. And then nothing really happened over here uh, or there. So that is the end of my turn. I do kill a unit. I killed a warlock and the wave serpent. And we also hold an update because I'm currently holding all four. So I do get the bonus point as well. Oofed. There sure. we go. There it was. So with that, that's the end of my turn. Let's go into Josh's turn three. It's coming up next. Okay, guys. End of the movement phase for the Eldar. Try not to have a sneezing fit. <laughs> uh, the fire prisons are pulled out. Obviously, they have fire sticks still shoot, but they are minus one to hit now because they've moved. Uh, but they still do still have a lot of guns. So all the guns. But they've moved more than half as well. They have moved all, more than half. Yes. Yeah. So they'll be able to shoot once, not twice. Uh, everyone is pulled out of here. Eldra has moved over to do some mortal wounds. The wave serpents jumped over to try and hide. I guess. Uh, no, I'm gonna see if I can cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky shoot cheeky, these. Cheeky kill on the Ravager. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the Hemlock's obviously pulled out. Still basically on a full profile in terms of effectiveness because its speed slows down but it auto hits guns, yeah. which isn't fun. Uh, those guys have stayed in combat but more Dive Engines have jumped out of the Wave Serpent to try and take that objective from me. Yeah. So that's the end of the movement phase, I think. 
Uh, uh, yeah, all attacks moved on. Just over here, one on steady combat, and oh. this one moved out. So okay, so the minus one six. Cool. So, uh, reason it's minus one six, it's not because it has flying, it's pulled out, it's because they are heavy weapons, so I'm forcing them to move. So, with that, let's go into the psychic phase. Okay, so Eldred is going to do some casting. What would you like to cast first? Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to cast Smite. Of course. Into uh, the Cadillac Warriors. Yep. Yeah. So, so it goes pass. off. Three, three more wounds. Two. Two more wounds. Two six ups. One failed. One failed. So two dead. I'll we'll go that one and that one. Cool. Okay. Uh, so you get plus one to cast. I do. Next, I'm going to cast Doom. Okay. So Doom on a six now. A three and. And a six. So cool. Let's pass. So who would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to do the biggest squad of this uh, unit here. Yep. Yeah. And okay. Lastly, he's going to executioner. So yeah. Here's a seven, and that's a pass. That goes Good. off on a twelve. It's probably on these. Yep. Yeah. Two. So two. Six ups. They failed, and then D three on the last one. Three. Another three. Mega dead. Yep. Yeah, that's the unit destroyed. Okay. So that's a unit destroyed this turn. Very good. Hurrah, Is that the end of the psychic phase? No. Well, you from the hemlock. Jinx from the hemlock. Okay. Because you didn't kill him. I did not. Need a seven for this one. You get seven. Yeah, and that's going to go on this unit, the big okay, unit. Okay, so Doom and Jinx on the big unit. Yeah. Okay, so with that, let's go into the shooting phase. So we've done some shooting already. This wave surface shot into the Ravager, but did nothing. These dive engines shot into the cab lights and killed them. Uh, and then you've shot a couple of pistols and not really done much else. Yeah. So what would you like to shoot next? Next, we're going to get this Night Spinner to actually do something. The Night Spinner, who's managed to hit now. Yes. Well, that's 2d6 shots. Who's he shooting? Uh, so he's going to shoot into the Jinx and Doomed squad. Into the, to the Talos, okay. Yes. So 2d6. Seven go. shots. That's the highest you've rolled all game. Uh, yeah. That's more than four. He did that on one dice. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, here we go. So falls to hit. Falls to hit, but re-roll in ones. Thankfully, no threes. Three hits? Three hits. And then strength? Seven. Okay, so, so falls. Or fours. Falls. 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 Seven. And re-roll that. So that's two wounds, no AP. Two uh, four up one. saves. Because of Jinx. Yeah, yeah. So four up saves. Both passed. Cool. So the three up armor save. Nice, Why do you do this? <laughs> um, cool. So next we're going to fire the. Uh, next we're going to fire the Hemlock. The Hemlock. So split fire because, you know, this worked for you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Um, so we're going to fire one back into the into Wounded Ravager. One and one into the one with two. Okay, so we're going to do a double kill. Who would you like to shoot first? I'm going to just pull it. If he was uh, on the floor, I'd just pull out two pistols. And go, Here we go. So, um, we'll do the Ravager first. Into the Ravager. D3 on the Ravager. Three. Three. Wins on twos. Two, yes. Three, three wins. Three saves, mate. Three five ups. I've made two. Just don't roll six, please. Two damage. Ah, does he blow up? No. It's a dead Ravager. That would have been quite funny to survive on one wound. That would have, yeah, well, I had it. <laughs> and then into the Talos. So one shot. One. Threes to wound. It's a wound. One, four plus, uh, five plus, sorry, because of Jinx. No, it's uh, the one with two wounds. Okay, four plus. Which I pass. Doesn't matter which one you shoot. Go oh, get one. One yeah. pistol shot off, whatever. There we go. Still cool. Yeah. Uh, right, next. We're gonna fire the. So you got one wave serpent one and wave two serpent. fire prisms yeah. left. So this wave serpent's gonna shoot the Jim Doom and Jinx. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so three's to hit yes. with nine shots. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Reroll no ones. No one, no. No. Reroll no one. No one. That's why no one will remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three wounds, reroll in. Four wounds. Quadruple fine. So they are Jinx, so it's four plus. Oh, you're like it's cut. So three and a six up. Now, so I take a wound. So one has finally taken a wound. Oh, thank you. Well, then, the one this at the one. back. This one? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Oh. Two fire prisms. Is that one that I hadn't dispersed the serpent shield on? Ah, it was that one. That one. I think you probably worth doing it now. Uh, yeah. It is going to hit my Archon, though. Yeah, that's all right. I want to hit him. So two plus. Goes off. Two. Two mortal wounds into the Archon from the Super Shield, two six ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you forget things, you can go back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Six up, ignore damage, made them both. Thank you, nice dice. <laughs> Very nice dice. 
Nice. Okay, so what would uh, what the fire prisons like to shoot? Fire prisons, yeah. So, so I think about what they're gonna do. Uh, yeah, I will do. Yeah. Okay. Prisons gonna go next. Which one would you like to shoot first, and what's so it gonna do? We're gonna shoot lead stubby. Yeah. So stubby gun's gonna go into the two in left Talos. Yep. Yeah. And the little gun's gonna shoot the sure. cavalites. So the little gun. Mm -hmm. We're hitting on threes because it's a assault weapon. Yep. Yeah. So three hits. Strength four. So three so, oh, of course. Nothing. Triple two. Nothing. Nice. And then the big so gun. The big gun. It? I'm going to fire the single shot lance. Okay. That does d6 damage. Very nice. So we've got to hit first though. That's a hit. And I'm running on three. Uh, and 12. Strength, is it strength 14? I'm not sure. Roll it and we'll see. Yeah. Probably wins on yeah. a six. One, four plus invulnerable. Which I fail. I don't have any CP. Three, three wounds, three six ups need to make three of them. I do not. Do I blow up? Yes. Uh, I do, so everyone takes a mortal wound within six inches. So, rack. Nope. Venom. Yep. Three down to four. This, Talos. Yep. This Talos unit. Nope. The homunculus. Nope. Uh, Eldrad. Yep. Yep. Altark. Yep. And the Fire Prison. Nope. Okay. I think we took both of took two wins each. Nice. Okay. And then Eldrad as Just well. Just check what Eldrad. We've got five left. Five got six wins. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, the rat died as well. Sorry, I didn't take him off. Oh, what did I roll for Eldrad? Because he ignores him on a five up. Uh, okay, we'll just say ignored it. I can't remember what he rolled. Cool. Okay. So, um, the other fire prism. Yeah, uh, so he's basically going to do the same. But he's so this Talos, I presume. Ripley, he's going to be shot by the catapult and the five were in now. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. So, the catapult, mm -hmm. four shots. Three, he's re rolling ones. Uh, hit or I'll re roll Good, two hits. Three to wounds. It's one one wound. One five up. Which I make. <laughs> Made it. Cool. Um, and then the big lance gun. Zap. Hits. Wounds. wounds. Made oh, his save. Oh, oh. Made dance. his save. Okay. Is that the end of the shooting phase? I believe that's all my shooting, yes. Okay. Is there going to be a charge phase? Uh, I don't think there's going to be a charge phase. There is for me. Are you going to heroically intervene, Mikey? Do 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 do. <laughs> May as well. <laughs> <you're going> <laughs> so that's the end of the charge phase. Let's go into the fight phase. So you just did all the combats off camera. Uh, you did three wounds of my venom over there. Yeah. Uh, nothing happened here. Uh, the Archon did two wounds to Eldrad here. I think that was it. Yeah, that was everything. That's it. So we're doing the score as well. Uh, Josh actually killed more this turn, but I currently hold more because I hold these two objectives where Josh only holds that one because I'm I hold three objectives You only hold the one um, So I get hold more Josh gets kill more Josh maxes out gangbusters gets recon and mark for death Bringing the total score to 14 all super super close We were just saying that like after turn one it was kind of like oh no yeah. Mikey's gonna win. Yeah, but it's been super close. It's been it's been really really good It's been a really really good game so far. Yeah uh, It's just can, can I pull it back or is Josh gonna take the win? Who knows? Shall we go and find out in turn four? Only if I win. Okay. That's only if we find out. Well if it ends now then I win So if the video if that's the end of the video then I've won <laughs> But if it carries on who knows maybe you've won. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. in Drakari turn four guys end of the movement phase for the Drakari. it is all or nothing right now da, 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 da. exactly da, 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 da. so the ravagers have been more a bit more aggressive getting up into the grail so you can see more targets try and kill some more units the flyer has moved over we're going to try and deal with the wave serpent the talos have moved along with the homunculus deal with these fire prisms because they are nasty uh, I'll pull out of combat, the two Venoms are going to go for the Dive Ender so I can grab that objective and these guys are going to stay in to try and kill that unit as well. Um, the Archon is still in combat with Eldrad to try and just deal with him, slow him down a little bit. So my game plan is I need to kill this, I need to kill that, and I need to kill one of these. I think that would be a good good turn. However, I have lots of poison here that's all in range of the Archon. Three of them can reach, one of them can't, two of them can't, sorry. 
So I don't know what's going to happen. Don't it's going to be it's going to be important though. Going to miss everything. Probably. Let's go into the shooting phase. Okay, guys. So those two venoms over there have shot into the dive engines and killed three of them. And I'm going to go with and the archon shot inside them doing nothing. I'm now going to go with the razor wing. I'm going to split fire. I'm going to put the poison, splinter rifles, and the Shatterfield missiles into the Wave Serpent, and then the disintegrate cannons into the Hemlock. Oh, I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling very brave. I'm going to do it. Disintegrate cannons into the Hemlock, hitting on threes. Fours because you're a flyer. Three hits. It's five to wound. I get one wound. It's minus three. Ooh. Two damage. Saves one. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah. No! <laughs> Poison into the wave serpent on threes, nice. wounded on sixes, one wound, no mate, no AP. I Six it. Shatterfield missiles, D6 shots. Good. <sighs> threes. <laughs> Hits. Falls to wound re rolling. Cocked. Yeah. Re rolling. Shit, so many rolls. One wound at minus one. Six up, sig six up, big gnar. Another one. Does so he blow up? No, I can't see. It's a four. Okay. That right, is a wave serpent destroyed. That is a big game hunter. There you go. Thanks. And those bits. I don't know why I'm still filming, but there you go. You enjoyed that. Right. Okay. This single Talos is going to shoot into the hemlock. You what, mate? I know. Come at me. 2D free shots. He wants him dead. It's oh. double six. He definitely wants him dead. He's had enough of his messing now. My wish. Fives. <laughs> Two hits. Falls to wound. Falls to do a mortal wound. It's one mortal wound. One six up. Oh, oh God. Yes. Don't do that. Don't do Come that to on. me. Don't do what that to me. Got? Come on. Oh, okay. Sec the unit of two Talos. One of them's going to shoot the Hemlock. One of them's going to shoot this guy in nine wounds. That's the game plan. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Into the Hemlock. Two shots, fives, missed. Into wave surf, into the fire prism. Four shots, fours. Fives to wound, but does wound on fours. Nothing. Nothing. No, <laughs> no. It's so much whiff. Okay, Ravager number one. Let's say this one. One disintegrator cannon into the hemlock. One disintegrate cannon into the Die Avengers. One disintegrate cannon into the Five Prism. Wow, all the split fire. Into the Die Avengers. We roll in. Uh, three to only rolling ones. Strike six. From five. Ah, cool. That's That's three wounds at minus three. Uh, these ones. Yep. So, so two uh, damage a uh, time. First one. Out X arc. Six ups. He's dead, and then double six. Dead. No, no, no. dead. Call. Into the hemlock. Falls to hit. All hit. Fives to wound. One wound at minus three. Nope. Two damage. A double six this time. Nope. No, you cannot. Does he blow up? No, he does not. That's the hemlock destroyed. And then three shots into the five prism. Re rolling ones to hicks of the Archon. All hit. Fires to wound and rolling ones. Two wounds into the fire prism at the back. Two wounds, so it's four damage. Bossed yes. it. Absolutely bossed it. Oh, it's down to five, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I needed that from that Ravager, but I do still have another Ravager to go. It's tempting. It's tempting to split. But I think oh, I'm just going to go into that fire prism at the back, just to make sure it dies. Nine shots into the fire prism at the back. That's on five wounds. Three zero rolling ones. Oof. Oof, I know. And then fives. Oh. One. Oh, re rolling ones. It's cocked. It's jolly one wound. Does cause two damage. Two, it's two more wounds down to three. Last bracket. Okay. That is the Ravagers done. We have the Venom into the Arc, into the Ors Arc. He's going to rapid fire everything into him. That is 10 shots for those at home listening. That is 8 hits. It is forced to wound Josh. Oh, that's not enough wounds. It's 4 <laughs> wounds, so it is enough to kill him. This has just been like, oh, it's a great roll. Oh, it's a crap roll. <laughs> oh, no. 2 wounds, 2 6 ups. It is two wounds. Two left. 
Okay. These three Cab Light Warriors are gonna rapid fire into him, the other two are gonna rapid fire into that Fire Prism on two wounds. So let's do the Fire Prism on two wounds first. Threes, and then sixes. Nothing. And then six shots into the Ar Autark, not Archon. I keep saying that. I know. One missed. <sighs> yeah, but that means this was gonna be bad. Fours. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Why don't the dice work? <laughs> you know what we said earlier about the Hellstone dice? They just repel each other. It's just they're, like... just, they're just bouncing off each other. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. So that is those shot. That is everything shot, I think. That is everything shot. It's a charge phase now, boys. It's time to fight! Come on! I need to Come weapon. at me! Okay, so it's time for charging. The Venom is going to charge the Fire Prism and the, the Autark. Both Fire Prisms and the Autark. Here goes. Oh, everything, okay. Uh, so, I guess we'll fire the Fire Prisms together, but first of all, Shrek Pistol from the outer. Okay. Yeah. Hit. Oh, it hits, nice. Fires to wound. That's a minus 380 as well. <laughs> so, one five up in one. Should make. Ah. Okay, Shuriken Catapults from the Fire Prisms. Sixes, we're rolling ones. Got two hits. Two hits. One wound. One wound, one false will save. Six up ignore damage. It ignores oh, it. Oh, come on. The five prisms, what type of shots are they going to do? Um, so, they're going to do the... You can do it independently if you want to. You can yeah. do one at a time. So, with their double fire thing... Mm -hmm. is I that... believe it's only during the shooting phase. Should we just double check? Yeah, we can double check. To confirm they can only shoot once during the overwatch, because it can only shoot twice during the shooting phase. So what would the first one like to do? Um, so I'm going to just do them together, both on the D6 profile. Cause the I'm Lance. Winning, winning on three. Uh, no, 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 it's in D6 shots. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. so the middle profile. The, no, the bottom profile. Bottom profile? Yeah, so D6 shots from each of them. So we've got yeah. two D6 shots, and strength six. Strength six, so cool. Three. So the two D6, so six shots. Six is to hit. Three more than ones. Nothing. Nothing. Charge range is seven. So I'm going to have to double check where I can fit. I rolled so low, I couldn't actually get in. So, um, this Talos is going to charge this Fire Prism. He's in with a 9. But the Grotesque is going to charge this Fire Prism. Would you like to overwatch? Uh, so, I'm going to use the D3 one for this one. Okay. Two shots, sixes, nothing. Nothing. So, charge range, I'm definitely in. With an 8. The unit of two Talos is going to charge just the Fire Prism, so six, so you're going to go to there. The Homunculus is going to charge Eldrad, Ooh. I think, Eldorad. going to try and help out, he does. Uh, the Cabalite Warrior is going to charge the Autark, I'm just chucking dice everywhere because they're within an inch, so we'll just over an inch. They're going to charge into there, um, I think that's all the charges to be honest. Cool. You know what, I'm going to charge the two, unit, two Ravagers into your Dire Avengers. The first Ravager, let's say this one. Oh, the Dire Avengers, yeah. yeah. He's in, and then the second one. And yeah, they're in. They're going to charge to there like that. Come closer, I want to shoot you. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, that's all the charges done. We're going to do some rubbish combats, and then we'll do the Talos and Cameron. Okay, so we've just resolved all of this combat. Nothing really happened. I killed one, that was it. Uh, so I'm going to do the Grotesque next. we resolve both because it doesn't really matter. We're going to do your attacks back after. So the Grotesque are going to hit the Fire Prism. They hit on two. That's a few sixes. All hit. Nice. Sadly, sixes don't do anything. Yeah. Unless you're infantry. Oh, cool. So on a six to wound, you do more wound. Yeah. Uh, so they are strength five, so five to wound. So we got two wounds. Minus two. Minus two, yeah. And just one damage. Well, I guess through. And I don't stop them, Down so I'm one. one wound left. Okay, so the Venom is going to strike your uh, Autark, so two attacks on fours, one hit, threes, nothing. Uh, the Cabalite's going to attack, so the Sergeant, the leader gets two and everyone else gets one. Hits on twos on this turn, and then fives, nothing. Oh, what's, what toughness is it, three or? Three, yeah. That's oh, so a two wins then. To make them both. This Talos is going to strike at the um, Fire Prism, so five attacks with the Macro Scalpel. Uh, two's to hit. And then three's to. Uh, four's to increase, jump seven. So that's four wounds at minus two. So 
Take one. Six damage. Take six. Six, six damage. Left. Six left. So then this guy's gonna these guys are gonna pile in and do the same. So that's ten attacks with the macro scalpels. I'm gonna try and kill his fire prism now. So two's to hit. That's one miss, that's very good. And then falls to wound. There's four saves at five ops. Oh, that's that eight damage. Can I get it to blow up and do everything? Yeah. Does it blow? Ah, oh, okay, that's a fire prism destroyed. That's good, that's exactly what we need. That's a fire prism gone. There we go. There we go. And these guys are, oh, that's not that one, it's this one. Just shuffle slightly. Okay, the homunculus are going to here. So there's these four poison attacks that are gonna wound on twos. So three hits, and then wound on twos. Uh, sorry, four, sorry, the, the, the Archon wounds on twos, the Humunculus yep. does not. So two poison wounds, so two saves. Two saves. Two saves, and he's got, he's got his I-Core injector that hits on a two. Missed. Shame. Out of, uh, out of uh, your guy, the real ones? Uh, no, because uh, it only affects Black Heart stuff, ah. and he's not Black Heart. The Archon is going to hit Eldrad, hits on two, two rolling ones. All hit. And then he's got a Venom Blade, so that wounds on twos. So four wounds, four saves. Oof, takes two. Takes, takes one. one. It's down to three. Oh, it's all a bit tense, isn't it, Mikey? It's <laughs> all a little bit, it's getting a bit real now, isn't it? So, stuff is hitting the fan, as it were. <laughs> yeah. One way to put it, yeah, some little pun might say. So, that's the end of that. We'll do combat back here. We've got Eldad strike back, and we've got the Altar strike back. Do you know who you're going to hit? Uh, I will start with, oh well, Eldrad can't, I uh, well, oh, see what you mean, yeah, sorry, yeah. Um, he's going to hit the Venom, that's what they're called, yes. So they're attacking to the Venom. Are they still minus one to hit in combat? No. Okay, good. So, bring all those ones. Yeah. Threes, three wounds, minus three. Uh, don't get saved in combat, I apologies. Uh, so how much damage? Uh, it's far, four altogether. Four altogether. So four, six up saves. Oops, one. Watch it be a six. I'll grab another dice. Four six ups. I do die. So do I blow up? Of course I roll a six, so everyone takes a mortal wound. So you take a mortal wound. Yep. You're down to one. My warriors. I'm one dead. Oops. I can ever run up. I don't know. Oh, that's really it. Oh, um this unit of Talos. Takes a wound, the other unit of Talos. Also takes a wound. And it's only about three inches. So this guy's down to five, and this guy's down to four. Cool. Cool, and that's the Venom Destroyed. Very good. Eldad, would he like to hit anyone? He's going to hit the Homunculus. Mm -hmm. Does he have an in -bun? He does have a four plus. So he just have an in -bun. Yeah. Okay. I'll hit him with the Lins on a two plus then. Mm -hmm. So hits on a two. One and a. Uh, uh, I think that's a four. Yep. One hit, yeah. Two. Two. That's a wound. One four plus. Did I fail? That's, that's a dead. Three wounds. It's three six oh, ops. Not. Oh, oh, oh. Make two, so he's down to what? He's down uh, to two wounds. Okay, so that is the end of that. Let's do a bit of a roundup because it's getting messy again because lots of combats happened. But not a bad turn there. I think you kill about yeah. five units or something. Oh, I don't know. Uh... Wave Serpent. Wave Serpent, Die Avengers, Fire Prism, so three units. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad though. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. So let's do a round up and see what happens. Okay, so after a messy turn, lots of dice and lots of rolling everywhere, um, that's on the this unit. unit. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. That's there. Anyway. Um, yeah, exactly. They disappear, so it doesn't matter. There you go. Um, a bit of a messy turn. But I did clear up the units I needed to, kind of. I would have not liked yeah. to kill the Archon, the Autark as well, but I didn't, but there you go. Did kill four units that turn there, so it's gonna be tough to beat that. Mm. It's gonna be very tough. So I scored kill one, hold one. I also get the bonus points to currently hold for all four objectives, because he's troops. They also have three models on that objective compared to Josh's one. Uh, I get a big game hunter, and I get a mark for death as well, so a big scoring turn there. I mean, the Autark is on one wound, the Fire Prism's on one wound. I mean, they would have been nice cheap kills, but I suppose I can get those next turn, which would be nice cheap kills then. 
so with that, let's go into Craft World turn four. So movement phase is complete. The Archon is all Tark is staying in combat, I presume. This one? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Fire Prism is just pulled out. Eldrad stayed in combat. These Die Avengers have pulled out of combat, but they're now grabbing that objective, so that'll get Josh Hold one this turn. I think that's everything. Uh, I'm just going to advance this out arc as well. Okay. So five. We we'll get that reroll seven. ones to hit to Wave Serpent instead. Uh, see if I can get both if I can, but if it doesn't, then no, it doesn't really matter. Twelve into so we can get onto here. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to the. Cool. So he's going to jump in the middle, so you can give a roll to hit both the Wave Serpent and the Night Spinner. So that that's the end of the movement phase. Let's go into this. Turns out we just measured again. He can't actually reach the Night Spinner, so he's just giving me roll ones to the Wave Serpent. So Eldrad, what would you like to do in the Psychic phase? So first off, I'm going to smite. Of course. Uh, so it goes off the six. six. Yeah. Who I'm would you like to apply it to? Because you've got the arc on all the homunculus. Uh, I'm going to do it to the homunculus. Okay, matey. So D3 wounds. Two. two. Two six ups. I fail them both. So that is the homunculus destroyed. Well done. That's one unit, two units this turn. Uh, great. So next I'm going to guide. Mm -hmm. Did I bring guide? I think you did. Guide yes, the executioner. Yeah. I couldn't remember my third part. <laughs> so I'm going to guide. On a six now. It does go off. Who would you like to guide? I'm going to guide the fire prison. Makes sense. It is him on sixes with the main cannon at the minute. Yeah. Uh, and finally, I'm going to executioner. Okay. And goes that goes off. off. So D3 on the outcome. Three, three. three wounds, three six ups. Uh, all failed, so he's taken three. He's got two left. Nice. Good news. Finally. Indeed. <laughs> Okay, is that the end of the psychic phase? That's the end of my psychic phase. Okay, let's go into the shooting phase. Okay, so the fire prism is going to open up. We have shot some pistols, but nothing happened. So the fire prism will shoot everything at this Talos. Yep, so we're going to fire the shuriken cannon first. Mm -hmm. oh, just shuriken so so five's re rolling. That's cool. Yep, five's in number one. Re rolling to guide. Oh, yeah, the guide. So re roll these two Every as well. Yeah. So you got one, yeah. that was a hit. So it's two hits. All right, cool. Yeah. Two hits. Getting awfully confused. It's getting late, guys. Yeah. <laughs> So that is two wounds. One of nice. three. So one three plus save. One four plus save. So it takes a wound, six up. Takes a wound, down to four. So what version of weapon would you like to shoot at uh, the tiles with the main so cannon? I'm going to use the D3. Okay. And I've moved less than half, so two D3. Okay. Re rolling to hit. One hit. One wound. One four plus in one. Makes his save. Cool. The six. Okay. Uh, alrighty. That's the fire prison. Now you got the wave serpent. I have uh, the wave serpent. And the night spinner. Yes. So we'll start with the night spinner. The night spinner is going to shoot that. And him. Cool. So two six shots. Seven. Okay. So three's to hit. No re rolls this time though. Oh. Come on, night spinner. <laughs> So no extra toughness for you now. So you toughness six. I am toughness six. Yeah, so it's three. Oh, three, oh, three to re to re oh, Do you re-roll as well? No, I don't. Okay, just one. Just one wound, no one three plus save, which I pass. Right. Okay, dokie. Wave serpent. Wave serpent. He is going to shoot the troops. I forgot the racks. Racks. They're good for racking up points, you see. Yeah, for me, it doesn't really feel. <laughs> right. So three to re-rolling ones. Yeah, because of the uh, ex uh, auto. Oh, yep. Exarch, Autarch, Archons, there's too many. There's too many. <laughs> this is not within Primaris names. There's yep. so many, like beginning with I. Threes to wounds, that's four wounds. Four wounds, no AP. So four plus, followed by six plus. So that is. Two fails. Two it? dead. Yeah. That's the unit. Perfection. So that is three units you've killed this turn. Uh, does that include the one I killed? It? Yeah, so because you've killed uh, the Rax. And you've yeah. killed uh, the homunculus this turn. Yes. And then you killed something else previously. Yeah, the venom over there. The venom, yeah. Okay, is that the end of the shooting phase? Yes. Okay, is it going to be a charge phase? Um, yeah, I think, or maybe not. Hang on, just one thing. Okay, so no charges, so straight into the fight phase. Who would like to strike first? I'll fight with Eldrad. He's going to Eldrad into the wind on twos. Archon. It's on twos. Two hits. And wounds on twos. Two hits. Okay, hits. two saves, two two ups. I've not failed it yet. Made it. Ah, so, so D3, D3 wounds. Pow. Two six Just ups. Six, please. Oh, Archon is destroyed. There Eldred, we go. Eldrad, come on. Four, four units this turn. Archon. Exarch. 
Autark. <laughs> that, Autark into the Cavalier. That boy with some wings. It's one miss. Wounds on two, three wounds. Three wounds. Minus three. Feet. Okay, so damage D three. You can roll them all together; it doesn't matter. So the first one takes one. He dies. Second one takes two. He dies. Second, third one takes two. So three dead. So I'm just going to leave the sib right who's hiding in the bush. <laughs> Uh, okay. Eldrad's gonna like consolidate towards. Yeah, it'll have to go into him. Yeah. Do you want to stay outside of an inch? Or are you going within an inch? Uh, within an inch. Okay. Cool. So I'll pile in here. I'll do my two attacks. Get on twos. Both hit. Uh, fours. <sighs> Rubbish. Sibrite. Uh, not Sibrite. Acalist or Acathist. Three hits. Okay. Thank you. And then strength three, so four, five to wound. Nothing. Okay, so that's the end of combat. I think you've just drawn for Kilmore. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good. Oh yeah, killed the Archon, yeah. Yeah. Do they have morale at all? They do have a morale, but because it's turn four, oh, you know I how count as turn five, yeah. so I ignore morale. I was saying this earlier, it's like, oh yeah, there's not going to be a case when morale would be... Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> so when, I, when I fight, I'll pile into there, so I'll still probably be within three of the objectives. Yeah, sure. Because it's from the edge in ITC. Yeah. So currently, that is the end. You, we know, neither is going to get kill more. Yeah. You are going to get hold one, but I'm going to get hold more this time. Because cool. I'm still holding two, at least two, maybe three. Um, so that's the end of that. Very good turn, Josh. Thank you. Let's go and have a look at the score. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. So I scored kill one, hold one, bonus point, and hold more. You scored kill one, hold one. And you also got one for recon. So the current score, I had a good turn, but so did Josh. It's 21 17. Mm, pulling ahead a little bit. So I scored seven points in the last turn, which is pretty good, but you scored yeah. three. It's still very good. Three points in one turn is still good. Yeah. It's close. It's still close, I think. I don't have a lot left. I still need a good turn because you've got, you got two good fire platforms. you got some decent characters, which are bossing saves. Sure. I mean, you've got this wave serpent, which is just laughing at me in the minute. He's still on full wounds. No serpent shields, though, but there you go. However, let's go into the Drakari movement phase. I've got to try and clean up now. The movement phase is complete for the Drakari. It is all out war at this point. It's time for the raiding party to clean up what is left of the foe, I think. That's the plan. That's the plan. There's lots of stuff on one wound, Josh. Lots of your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> on both sides, but yeah. I'm hoping this is the clean up turn. The Ravagers have moved forward with the Archon. Now both the Venoms that are shooting poison at the Divengers that just won't die are finally re-rolling hits and wounds. The, uh, the Razor Wing has finally done a full square, <laughs> full square to get in range of the Archon to re-roll hit rolls and wound rolls again. This Talos has moved over to try and deal with Eldrad and these two are in a position where they can shoot the Archon or Tark and then charge Eldrad or one of the Wave Serpents and the Fire Prism is only one wound. The Ravagers are sat there literally, they have a lots of choice. They can help finish off the Fire Prism, they can start pumping into the Wave Serpent or they can kill the Dire Avengers. So, in a quite strong position at this point. Uh, but if I do whiff, I think Josh might take it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll have to see. So, let's go into the shooting phase. Okay, so, we're going to start with this unit of Talos. And they're going to split fire because I'm brave. Brave like that. We know how this is. <laughs> so, one of them is going to shoot into the Fire Prism, one's going to shoot into the Autark. Got to write this down. Okay, so first one, 2d3 shots into the fire prism. Oh, five hits, five shots. Force to hit, <laughs> two hits. <laughs> Fires to wound but looking for a four. I get six, that's one armor save. It's passed. D3 mortal wounds, because I rolled a six. That's three mortal wounds on the fire prism. Triple six, no he does not, so does he blow? Nope. No, he does not. That's a fire prison destroyed. I think that's another mark for death. That is a mark for death indeed. Um, the other Talos into the uh, Autark. Doesn't like him at all, I don't think. Nope. He was an ID survivor earlier. Falls to hit. That's only one hit. Uh, <laughs> should fall, so three's to wound. It's one wound at minus one. Uh, that's a fail. That Six up, ignore one. Does get him. That is the uh, oh, Autark wait, gone. Autark. <laughs> this Talos is going to shoot into Eldrad. Yeah. 2d3 shots. That's three shots. Uh, force to hit. Two hits and then three. Force to wound. One wound at minus one. Not that it matters, he has an invun. Which That's he nice. makes. Which he makes like a boss. Okay. 
those two Venoms are going to shoot into the Avengers, and I'm going to do that off camera, I think. Cool. Venoms did manage to, to kill him. I, I hit with all but two. Without, I did 20 shots together. I, did, I hit with all but two, but then failed to wound 10 times. Yeah. So, only eight wounds got through, which is just daft. Just absolutely daft. However, I've cleared out the um, Autark. I've cleared out uh, the Die Rangers, which means I just have the Wave Serpent and El Eldrad to deal with, really. The Night Spinner, I'm not worried about at all. Because <laughs> it's just, we're just saying, it's like we're slapping each other with flannels because we both keep whiffing so bad. Yeah, it's like you'll roll something great, but immediately after it'll just be yeah. crap. It's turn five, and look how much stuff we've both got left. This isn't 40k, this, um, is, this is Index Edition. <laughs> this is like a friendly battle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Index Edition. So I'm going to do the Ravagers next. This first Ravager is going to shoot into Wave Serpent. I'm going to try and finish that off. Uh, it's also the only target I can see, or target the only one I can see and or target. So first Ravager into the Wave Serpent, hitting on three, so we rolling ones. So two missed, yeah. and then five to wound, rolling ones. That is two wounds. Two. Two wounds. Yes, into the Wave Serpent. What? Okay, cool. So two at minus three, two six ups. That's four damage. Congratulations, Mikey! You did a, some wounds. I did some wounds, yay! So I'm going to shoot the next one into him as well. Three. Uh, four damage in total. Four. Oop, I'll reroll this as a one because I've dropped a dice. So nine shots. I hit three times. Five. Ridiculous. Nothing. <laughs> the razor wing is to put everything into the wave serpent, so I'll do the disintegrate cannons first. All hit! Congratulations. Fives! Oh my god, I got four wounds! Four six ups. <laughs> you made two of them. What is this? <laughs> four damage. He's on nine. How many is he on now? Four, he's got five left. Five left. The rat's poison. Six is re rolling ones. What well, nothing. The Shatterfield. Two shots. Re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. Two hits. Four re rolling. Two wounds at minus one. One wound. Six up. Yay, did a wound. <laughs> I'm just wanting to kill it at this point. It's just, <laughs> it's too much to play with. The Archon with the Splinter Pistol. Cocked. Misses. Re rolling. Sixes, nothing. Just re rolls and re rolls. Re rolls and re rolls and re rolls and blah blah. Okay, I think that's all shooting. So he's on four wounds, right? Yes. The wave serpent. He is. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do some charges now. Because I'm going to try and kill him, and I'm going to try and kill him in combat, because why not? <laughs> so let's go into the charge phase. Talus is going to charge Eldrad, would you like to overwatch? Pew! No. No. Charge range. Eight. So I'm going to fly over here like that. These two Talos are going to charge Eldrad. Alright. With a four, so I'm going to re roll because yeah. it's rubbish. Garbage. Rubbish! Four. Definitely. They're not getting in combat. Um, the This Venom is going to charge the Wave Serpent. Would you like to overwatch? Is that the damage one? Uh, or the no, the non damage one. Yeah, I was going to say. But to re roll the one. Two hits. Three's to wound. One, one wound. That minus three. Fails, six up. Fails, takes a wound. Charge range, six. Uh, how many was there? They've got six, they should have five left. Can I get charged within six? You can get just any. Cool, so I'm just gonna touch him. And then the rabbit, first rabbit is gonna charge. Two, well, sorry, 10, not two. He's gonna charge to there. Could have pointed the spike straight And then the next rabbit is gonna charge. He's gonna charge to there. And then the outcome's gonna charge. With an 11, he's gonna charge to there. Nice. And the final venom over there is gonna charge, because why not? I'm gonna make another 11 inch, no, I can't. So that's all the charges, we'll resolve this one, and then we'll do this one on camera. Over here, with all these ravages and venoms, the Archon caused one wound with his poison blade that wounds on a six. Fantastic. <laughs> the, the Talos is gonna strike Eldrad with his chain flails, so 10 attacks hitting on twos. One missed. Strength six, so wounded on threes. <laughs> Actually, that's not. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> wounded on threes, missed four times. Five wounds, five invulnerable saves. He Fails failed two. two. Two damage? One damage. No, each. one damage. Down to one wound left. Down to one wound left. Whew. Okay. 
Eldrad, would you like to strike back? Yes. Okay. He's going to use the wins on twos again. So hits on twos. And he wins on twos. Two wins. Two three up saves. Fit, pass one. Two wins. Two, wounds. two six ups. I save one. I take a single wound. There we go. That was exciting. <laughs> I like punching Talos and taking wins off them. Yeah, it's good. So with that, I killed the Autark and I killed a Fire Prism this turn. So I do kill two units. I get a March for Death. I've nearly got a big game hunter by killing the Wave Serpent, but I'm just going to keep punching it because <laughs> I can't, clearly I can't shoot. Just keep swimming. Nearly killing Eldrad is really good, uh, but I am holding every objective once again. So I do get the bonus point in this turn as well. So that's going to give me quite a few points. Yeah. We'll see what Josh can do in his turn five. It's going to be quite tough. It's a bit of an uphill battle now. Everything's in the middle. It's kind of like deal with that, but also deal, deal with him. Yeah. He's probably going to die to psychic. Yeah. He's probably going to get shot, and they're probably going to just look at Eldad and be like, "You did know. Don't mess with him, bro. Mm. Don't mess with him, bro. He'll, 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 he'll sort you out, bro." <laughs> Let's go into Eldar ten five. Okay, end of the movement phase for the Eldar. There is four models left, but they happily score in Josh. Wait for it. Recon. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one in this quarter, he's got the uh, Warlord in that quarter, the Wave Serpent in this one, and then Eldra's just over in that one, so he does get Recon there. He's just pulled out of here, he's pulled out of there, and then he just shuffled to get Recon. So, shall we go straight into the Psychic phase? Let's do it. What would you like to cast first? I'm going to cast... Uh, execution... No. I'm going to cast... Guide first, I believe... Yeah. So we're gonna guide cast first? Guide first, yeah. Are you sure? You're um, not going to smite? Actually... Because of the plus one? Yeah, but the rerolls, and then I want to get the plus one on the smite. Mm. So I'm going to go Makes with sense. Doom first. Okay. Completely changed that. There, there you go. go. So Doom goes Doom. off. Who would you like to put it on? I'm going to put it on uh, this Ravager here. That Ravager there, okay. Because uh, I just want to get those points. Um, sure. Then I'm going to cast Smite. Yeah. The plus one. It does so go off, it's still on the six. Off. Yeah, I'll take that. So D3. It's literally rolled around on the table. Two wounds onto the Talos. Which I take both, I've got one wound left. And Executioner. On a seven, that's fast. Does go off, D3 wounds. One wound, one six up. I made it. <laughs> He's alive on one. <laughs> Why? He's alive on one. Oh, come on. That's the end of the psyche. Okay, it's a shooting phase. Who's going first? Night Spinner is going to fire everything. Into it's the Ravager. The Here we go. Ravager, yeah. So, little gun should be in range. Just double check for you. Yeah, so it was this one I did, wasn't it? It was this one you said. Right, so I'm out of range of that. So the little one will shoot this one. Okay. So the little gun. It's minus one to hit. Two so hits. Two hits. No wounds. Nothing. Big the big gun. gun. Two D six shots. Yeah! Hey! He rolled a nine! Oh! He's more than average! Ah! Oh, is there a dice on that? That doesn't happen in this game. Ah! <laughs> Three. Fours. So, oh, four zero only ones. But yeah, we're all. Oh my god. Gosh, that's three hits. <laughs> Strength seven, so three to wound. Three, three wounds. Three wounds. Three final pin No AP. No okay. Uh, well, pass one then. Two damage? Oh, he's four up seven on those, aren't it? Yeah, pass one. Oh, pass one, right, yeah. yeah. Four damage, yeah. Four damage, so six ups. Made one, so I'm down to seven wounds. Do you have a seven wound counter? I do, yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, then the. Wave Serpent? Wave Serpent's going to shoot the same target. Cool. Or is he? Or is he? I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. Shuriken pistol from the out arc into the doom guy. Hits. Re rolling. Wound, but it re rolls the wound. Wounds. Wounds. No minus, no so minus. four plus. Six up. Takes wound, down to six. Thank you very much. Um, You're very convenient with those dice. Yeah. So Eldrad's gonna. Shoot Eldred pulled out of combat. Oh, yeah, did, that was yeah. the only issue. Yeah. Is it because I kind of spoke to Josh about it before the movement phase? He could stay in combat and try and kill him in sidekick, but if he pulls out, he's safer, but then he can't shoot or charge. Yeah. Which I think is better play because then the Talos would hit you in combat, which is, yeah, is not what you want. I might have killed him before that though, but yeah, good point. So the um, Wave Serpent is going to shoot. How many units have you killed so far? I've killed three this turn. Three. I've killed nothing. Nothing. So even if I kill both of them. It's not necessarily gonna get me. Okay, so he's gonna shoot everything into the into the Ravager. The Ravager, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna hit on fives. Fives, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You can roll watch, to hit. Watch this wound though. <laughs> we rolling though. False to rolling. 
Uh, two, but no sixes. Three rather, no sixes. That one, there we go. So one, six. One three, invulnerable, not. which I fail, and then three normal, which I pass two off. So two wounds, two wounds, down That's to four. Left over. Okay, that's the end of that. All Any right. more shooting? I think that's everything, isn't it? I think that's everything, yeah. So Any charges this turn? Charges, my ward's gonna multi-charge this Ravener and this Venom. The Ravager and the Venom? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. It's all or nothing at this point, so. So we'll do Overwatch in a second. Ravager is on Overwatch first with his nine disintegrated cannons. Sixes re-rolling ones. Nothing, obviously nothing happened. As it the poison from the Venom. Ten shots, sixes. Wow. Re-rolling ones. Oh, wow, yeah. Four hits. There we go. We got three. Four's to wound. Three rolling ones. There's two wounds. No AP. No AP. Saves them both. Cool. Charge range. Six. I don't think he's going to be into the Ravager. No. He's going to go to the Venom though. Yeah. And punch that Venom to death. Have with you heard? Star Glaive. Yeah. Heat Spear. Wow. Here we go. Right. Four attacks. Three rolling ones. Three hits. There we go. Three to wound. Minus three AP two. So no save damage. Three. Three six ups. Made once. So I take two wounds. How many wounds do I have left? Three. Three. My attacks back. Two attacks hitting on four zero rolling ones. We know three zero rolling ones. One wound at minus one. One damage. Hey. Oh. Okay. Is that the end of your turn five? I think that's everything, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna be at, you're not gonna get kill one, you're not gonna get hold one, um, because you didn't kill anything this turn. That objective is contested, or at least I might I may be holding it with the both venoms, but at least one venom's in range to stop you scoring it. Um you do get recon to max that out. So that'll put or oh, the game. Oh, it's gonna be I think I'm gonna score five points this turn. So that'll put me on twenty six to eighteen. Yeah. To that so let's tidy up and let's have a think about it let's what's coming up next so guys we didn't bother filming it but we just kind of talked through my turn and rolled some dice the talos dealt with eldrad the ravagers and the flyer dealt with the night spinner and all the poison dealt with the autark so that is a tabling at the end of my turn uh, so i'll get five points for there i was on 27 uh, i'm going to max out my secondaries so i get another eight points that's 35 18 to me Oof. oofed Thank you very much. Left-handed shake. Thank you very much for the game, Josh. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It I was, mean, yeah. It was tough. It was very sway this that way, but yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. So, cool. We'll quickly pack up and we'll have a quick chat about it. So stick with it. So, guys, there you go. That was 2,000 points of Eldar versus Dark Eldar. Young Eldar versus Teenage Eldar. Going through the phase. And I've got to say, that was one of the sloggiest battle reports I've ever done. Yeah, I think that's just one of the sloggiest games I've ever had. Yeah, we were both whiffing. Yeah. We were both bossing saves. <laughs> Nothing died. Everything was still alive on turn five. Yeah. Which is sort of mental. But how do you think it went? What do you think was the turning point? What do you think went well? What do you think went bad? So I think I could have probably deployed a bit better. Having those night spinners where they were, maybe it wasn't the best move just because I couldn't overlap any of my um, read rolls mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. Because it could have been better if I'd have been able to sort of just swap between them rather than, yeah. Kind once, of splitting them all up. Yeah, once, I, think, I think that was the problem with the, the map for that point and deployment because you were trying to hide the night spinners. Yeah. But it wasn't, it's the same problem I had with the Ravagers. I wanted to hide them, turn yeah. one, but there wasn't really anywhere to hide. So it kind of forces you into a corner, which is a bit rubbish. Yeah. But. Yeah. Did did you think when did you think it was gonna change uh, over? When do you think you were like, Oh I've got this or when do you think, Oh no, I've not got this? Yeah, so like turn one was like, Okay, cool, I know I can do some serious damage. Hit habit. <laughs> it was just like Nothing just, happened. Yeah. It was like at the end of the first time I fought Talos when I was a Babby and didn't know what to take. <laughs> I was fighting with like Wraith Guard and yeah. bits like that. And was just sat there like, oh, stuff has done nothing. And now I'm like, yeah, I know what to do. I can build a decent list. And yeah, I was sat there like, oh, I've done nothing. <laughs> so as I said, I think I think it was just luck. Uh, as sad as sad that is, sometimes that is. Obviously, yeah. 
r- blaming dice is a bit rubbish, but we were just both whiffing completely. Yeah. I mean, we were both neck and neck for most of the game. It was only like turn four. That was a real turning point where I'd kind, I'd kind of damaged everything of yours. Yeah. And I kind of just like mopped up in one turn. Yeah. And got a massive lead. Yeah. So I think he, he, at any point up until that point, it could have gone either way. Mm. Like turn three, turn four, I think was the tipping point. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean, I just kept trying to just move up, come on kill the Talos but I didn't put enough side to kill the Talos. I think I I definitely should have um, made use of my Jinx and Doom way more than I did because mm. uh, I kind of just scattered them and oh, yeah, Doom this, Doom Jinx that and then didn't really plan what I was going to shoot or shoot yeah. what I was going to do. You had the tools, they were just a bit mixed up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just because I haven't used the, 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 the middle list like that before. Mm. It is a good list but, though. I mean, that many tanks on one board is really scary. It's a really scary prospect. I didn't think I'd be able to chew through them. Yeah. Because there's just so many. Yeah. They're tough in a seven all with 12 or 13 wounds, which is just ridiculous. Um, but there you go. It did end up going my way. Mm. Uh, so thank you very much for very much for the game. Again, Josh no was a challenger. Would you be up for a rematch? Definitely, yeah. Definitely wants a rematch. I've told him that I won't play Dark Eldar next time because I've played, played it. What, is that our third game we've had together now? Uh, third game, yeah. One of them I used Chaos Knights and you took that one. Yeah, so it's 2 1. So it next is. time maybe maybe you'll be able to make it 2 2. Yeah. Otherwise, best of five and I win. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. So Josh is your premium subscriber. He's in the premium Facebook group. So if you are interested in joining and want to play on the channel, then do join that group and let us know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more ITC battle reports, then check out the website as well or Patreon. Yep. What no Patreon? Is. Patreon. Know, Josh yeah. knows what that is now. So, otherwise, this has been Health and Wargaming. You guys have been fantastic, and hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye! Start with clap. Tasty. Mmm, premium. Warhammer 4, 0, apostrophe, 0, 0, 0. <laughs> Beatbox! <laughs> Death to the Ark! For the time you're on camera, now you're just like. 1750, is that okay? Yeah. 1750! Battle will, will be done! <laughs> I like being a troll. <laughs>